Hello, everybody. I'm about ready to get started. So we're down to just one bishop and then the final boss of the normal story. So we'll probably beat the bishop tonight. I haven't decided how much bonus stuff we'll try to squeeze in tonight, but that'll be our goal. Other than that, hopefully everybody's doing well. I haven't seen any updates as to if they fix the Twitch thing. It's a big, big old question mark if it's working today or not. It seems like there was some kind of issue like two months ago, but it's like not working. So like, for example, if you go online and you try to use the links that they have in order to confirm Twitch integration, that doesn't actually work. You get a 503 error. So I'm assuming something is still not working from their side. Give me one second. Yeah, I get... Chat can't see it, but I'm getting 503 service temporarily unavailable. So whatever they posted for 2023 does not work anymore. It is what it is. Let's see. There we go. I was going to say, oh, I remember other stuff. It's kind of crazy to think that when we first played the game, it took us around, I don't know, like 60 days or so to get towards the end. And day 96 was we're in the true post game. Now we're replaying it. We're going to be at like day 50 by the time we're like totally done, at least with the main bosses. It's kind of interesting comparing the two files. I definitely think it does suck that we don't have some of the other integrations, which would have made it a bit easier. Like getting bonus totem stuff. But oh well, it is what it is. Alright, so it seems to register us, so you should be live, chat. Lumberyard has run out of blood. This means... I'm going to click some of these and then we'll probably move on. And they skip over without being some part of it broken. I know, chat. I feel like a broken record. Like, I swear you could go back in my old playthrough. Every single time there's something. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Did it work today? Wait a minute. The contribution actually worked. Oh, my gosh, chat. That, that's the real miracle. What? This is the first time the whole playthrough that has worked. I didn't do so chat just for clarity, I haven't done anything. <laughs> just I have I have done literally nothing is just working now. Okay. That's fine. Finally. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get the mating tent unlocked. Okay, so here's my thought process. You could probably make super followers with the intent being that if you remember we have the spider who has the never needs food the don't starve spider i wonder if you can breed him with characters that are immortal in order to have characters that are children that are immortal and also don't need food i wonder if you could really break the game that hard i'm assuming you can or at least maybe you could pass on those traits if we play long enough, I want to experiment with that. Yeah, I'm sure you could probably have a completely immortal cult that doesn't care about the rules at all. There we go. Oh, there we go. Chris says Twitch integration lives. Yeah, it's just working today. I don't know why, but it is. We'll take it, I guess. Also, I want to go intimidate, but I already did. That's awkward. Okay, so I need to do one more thing to fix their faith and we'll move on. It just works. I don't know. Like if if chat has any ideas why this was work the one this time and not any of the other times. It just works. Thank you, Chris. Um I might go revisit this area real quick before we go to the next dungeon. I do have the thing where I can leave if I teleport, right? 
Oh, this is like an amazing set of cards. Okay. Although a renowned recreant amongst his peerage, Calamar was masterful in the repression of his underlings through Agu. Free to plague, the creatures of Anchor Deep strike with renewed vigor. Heed caution as thou travel within. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure. So I'm just going to pass time rather than stay in town. Ooh, this is new. What is this? Cannon? Hold on, Chad. This, this did not exist before. What is this? A Blunderbuss is a short-range ammo-based weapon. Air through multiple enemies. Raise range is limited. It'll do more damage to close to targets. Oh. I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, I'm all for new weapon types. I mean, this seems like this would make boss fights insanely easy for the no damage challenge. Right? I mean, like, the whole point of Call of the Lamb is, like, it hit getting close. I could just do this? Just not care? Okay. Well, I think we found, like, the OP weapon. Like, for no damage runs. Like, what are they gonna do? They're like, poke, poke. Our gold flooring. I mean, I wasn't originally gonna go deeper in the dungeon, but you can't just give me a gun and be like, yeah, this is fair. Oh, it has, like, the claw's old range. <laughs> Chat, I wonder if the claw had the gun range by accident or something. I swear, go back and go back to our original playthrough of the claw. Look at that distance. I swear we used to do stupid stuff like hit from that far. I wonder. Genuinely. I think the downside is, is I can't destroy projectiles. But the plus side is, I have gun. One can reflect projectiles, though. And we have a charge shot. Interesting. I mean, this just seems insanely unfair. So I can roll cancel. Like, there, I'm actually rolling forward. So I could just interrupt my roll at any point with gun. Huh. I mean, that's welcome. Well, needless to say, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna say it's gonna be easier to not get hit, and then I got hit by a projectile, of course, like a big dummy. That's fun. Does that multi-hit if I'm close? Hmm. I mean, Chuck can already see. Like, so this is what happens if you just hold the attack button. Nothing happens. But watch when I roll the attack. Reload is so good. And it one-shots the destructibles. That's actually huge. I kind of want to fight the boss now. I originally wasn't going to. But I think I could just poke the boss out like this. I mean, obviously, ideally, I'd want a spell that just straight up makes me invincible. Then it would just make the no damage run really easy. But I kind of want to try this boss again with the gun. See how I feel about it. I mean, look at the damage there. Yeah, it has like a lingering hitbox. Yeah, like every single one of those lines does damage. But it can like m delay hit for no reason like that. Which is insane. So it doesn't like to be spam, but if you put little delays in it, it'll be fine. Definitely interesting so far. I mean, I guess I might as well continue further for now. I was originally originally just gonna warp out now that it's a new day. Um, it's the least amount of battles I could get into. Probably this way. So keep in mind, chat. I don't benefit from fighting any bonus battles while we have the new fleece. It guarantees I get four cards. Therefore, I just want to go straight to the end, if possible now. The things like the cartographer, like seeing where the rooms are, are actually pretty useful for me. I don't really need upgrades. Unless it's a blacksmith. Nor do I super care about relics when you have gone. And I might as well just go here, because this is a free check. And then I might as well just go to the other house, because that's also a free check. I think Chad could agree. Kind of strong. Right? So I could just skip all this stuff and just go right here. Like, that seems fair. Pick up a relic for free. Deal damage based on the tarot cards I hold? Okay. I think chat can agree. Also pretty good. Given that we have four guaranteed. I don't know if it's possible to hold more in one run. 
by the collector, higher chance of spawning. Unfortunately, I don't have money. I will say, gun, not my favorite for opening things. That's like kind of annoying opening these. So we're seeing the downside of gun here, whatever. Guess we'll just go straight to the boss. <laughs> If I get hit, I get hit. It doesn't really matter at this point. I get to play with gun, which is new. Yeah, I could just go to the end now if I want to. The only thing I'd want to check in the other rooms is whether or not there's an existence of, uh... What's it called? Blacksmiths. Is if I could get better gun. Or, like, a better spell. Like, something that gives invincibility. That could be huge. Because right now its damage is okay. Right, like, three attacks to kill is kind of high, honestly. It just has mostly just the fact that it's distant. So, like, if an enemy's doing this and they're in a dangerous place, they could just do this. I'm not going to get rid of Angers for that. I could get rid of goals. I'm gonna go at least one more room. Is there nothing else this gives me more supplies to multiply? Yeah, like, I just got a free necklace just by going a little further. Speaking of exactly the room I was looking for. Uh... Critical Axe is interesting. Oh, Point of Corruption. No. Go hard pass on that one. Welcome, Elk. Hope you're doing well. Let's go kill the Witness since we're here. No Witnesses, chat. How we roll. Sorry if I'm not able to answer the chat right away. I gotta focus on the dodge here. But I promise you I'll look once I get a little bit of downtime. And so I would like to not get damaged during the boss run. Dodge you. No witnesses, no mercy, exactly. Good luck finding Poro tonight. So far I've not found Poro. Tank right at the end. That sucks. Man, that sucks. Of course it's the random minions that hit me, not the boss. This is where I wish I just had invincibility chat. I could still get the no damage challenge clear on the other enemy though. Yeah, the downside is our spell is just kind of okay. Ideally, I want the invincibility one or uh, the heat seeker. The heat seeker is my favorite spell. In the game, hands down. Oh, he didn't reload. That's fine. Alright, so we got him for later. Into the portal you go. Feather necklace or cabbage? Holy flower. Oh, uh, probably feather necklace. Eyewitness is a huge thing to pick up. I could just go back to the coal, but I think what I want to do is challenge the boss again. Because the worst that happens is I get boss rewards. Yeah, as I said before, I just want, like, one... Oh, I just wish I had a different spell. I mean, there's nothing wrong with tentacle. I definitely prefer that for this playstyle. But it's just, like, it's clearly, clearly not as broken as the one that we had yesterday. Or even, like, a good summoning hound. Although, to be fair, they did nerf the hound. The hound was very broken. I'm sure we still have that clip on Twitch where I legit two-shot a boss. Damage scaling did not make sense. Like, it's kind of funny of how fast we're going through these clears. I didn't even bring any demons with me, chat. Like, just imagine if we actually fought Palomar here with demons. How much faster this would go. Yeah, this is an annoying thing to get through. 
already got hit. GG. I think there's just too many enemies to look at. Because the problem is they're, they're not random, but it's just a lot to pay attention to. So it's like trying to look at the one that actually charges you versus the ones that slowly jump at you. Be a little distracting. Oh well. Ooh, that was actually kind of hard to roll through. Yeah, this definitely feels like the hardest of the bosses. Honestly, I don't even think the spider boss is that hard to dodge fully. Like, look at this. That's... Yeah. I'm gonna come back here with invincibility spells. Like, it's possible to do without it. It's just, like, as you can see, it's very annoying. Like, there. I tumbled through, but still got hit. So it's actually kind of tight on the dodge roll timing. My boss. So, like, definitely not hard to kill. Hard to get the perfect on. Goodbye, boss. At least we got to see what he did this time. Because when we played the dagger one, the dagger one was my honest chance to get the uh, flawless victory. But yeah, even with gun, that is still kind of annoying. But good to know. Uh, I don't care what time it is, I'm making our people go to a sermon. I don't care how pissy they get with me. Speaking of which... Can I mushroom the- oh, I don't have enough mushrooms. I have enough bones to bring somebody back. Let's do that right now. Hi. Right. Who has died recently that should come back? Let's find out, chat. Oh, let me know, chat, if you'd like to make a character. Oh, Diego died. We should probably bring Diego back. Come back to us, Diego. Praise be the lamb, chat. Yeah, we always want to revive first. So that when, when we do doctrines and stuff, we could get more bonuses. New fleece unlock. Interesting. Um, I don't think most of these categories matter to me at this point. I guess I'll do sustenance again. Uh, I usually prefer Ritual of the Ocean Bounty for doing the story mode stuff, just because catching rare fish is actually required for something. I don't really care about instant harvest at any point in any part of the playthrough. Even then, I'm not really going to use this ritual. Arguably, I could go for the Sin Unlocks now over the other choices, but that's fine. Go ahead and sermon it up. We might level up, because I did, I did revive a person. That seems to have paid off. So unfortunately, we're at max strength, but... Increased range and damage. I mean, there's no reason to not just improve Blunderbuss damage and range. Right, chat? Like, it was already good, but what if better? Okay. I'm not going to say no to that chat. If we get gun again. It didn't even save for power attack. That was just in general. But otherwise, I'm doing okay. I guess to answer the other question. Oh. Oh, to chat revive Promethean. I guess so. Let's spook the whole crowd. Furry followers have been resurrected thanks to Twitch chat. There we go. I managed to do all that before anything terrible happened. Let's bribe Diego. <laughs> Level 5 follower is a productive follower. I'm gonna repair beds in case we ran out at some point. Alright, oh, Kirk never sleeps. Hmm. We're gonna make a ton of bars. Or 
We're at 15 consecrated wood. We're at 53 consecrated stone. Wow, okay, I was going a little overboard with that one. Hmm. I probably want to have something to spook away the uh, birds. Now that we're kind of like late in the process. Play more fertilizer so they feed themselves faster. Put all of the seeds we gain back into here. Uh, where was that under? Oh, it didn't unlock Scarecrow yet. That's right. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. We'll unlock that later. Um, I really wish I had more gold bars, though. Yeah, the reason being, I don't want to destroy the lumber yard that's already lapsed. Because I can use that to build a super lumber yard and save resources. Which is super smart to do. But anyway, I don't think we have any worries about wood needs, although I'm a little concerned we're low on stone's resources. We're gonna let a day pass, and in the meantime, I'm gonna check to see if anybody wants to do a raffle. This person is a snorer, gullible, and a jerk. That is quite a combo. So we'll leave it open in case somebody would like to make a character. Otherwise, I think we'll just leave them as is. We could definitely fix the jerk trait, We've seen before that if we bully them, they eventually become nice. <laughs> this is what Call of the Lamb has taught us. But otherwise, we'll just leave him as is. Eventually, we need to find Poro. Presumably, he's in the woods waiting to ambush us, since he vowed his revenge in the previous stream, for those that didn't see it before. Which I guess is kind of ironic, because we're coming against uh, the bishop that will make people angry and vengeful at us. Poro was just ahead of the curve. There we go, there's Poro. So Poro, Poro was ahead of the curve. <laughs> He's preparing us for the dungeon where we potentially have to kill some of our best friends. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody wants to participate in the raffle. At least I've not seen anything to the contrary. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them as is. We'll accept them into the cult. Um, you can do whatever, I don't really care. Sure, refined materials. How many beds do I have? Oh yeah, I could put Kirk in the confession booth. Oh gosh, there's so many characters. And I can level Poet's Revenge. That's Esperanto, Granite Knight's there. Alright, let's get Kirk in here. What is Kirk gonna confess to us today? Food. Angry. Oh, that one's kind of tame. It is an instant level up for him. But at least while we're still in the early to mid game, doing that's kind of useful. Well, again, he'll just be stronger at the donations and everything else. And eventually, our prayers will become cash. Also, take that as you will as social commentary. We have a lot of people that are on death's door. Also, I should probably upgrade some of their beds. Parameter says wowzers. Alright, so I think what we could do is... Fix our faith. Do I have any other rituals I want to perform? <laughs> we need more mushrooms. We need way more skulls. I can you literally just pay bones to give sin. But we've seen what happens. With too much sin, presumably it forces them to leave the cult. We're gonna do this to restore their faith in us, and we're gonna go back into the new dungeon, or go into the new dungeon for the first time. It will very slightly improve the relationship they have with us here. Don't think we'll level up, but we'll get pretty close. You can tell we just need, like, oh, we actually just barely hit it. Uh, in that case... Some relics just appear blessed. That might be worth picking up. Honestly, the other ones are okay. They make your heavy attacks better, which, to be fair, are pretty good. Let's, let's get, well, let's set a new relic. So let's actually get in stronger hammer. We've seen how much damage hammer does. So if we just improve my favorite weapons first, I guess that's fine. That's good to see they added another weapon type. There we go. 
And a couple of people even level from that. And we could get another uh, Doctrine, although I think it's still on cooldown. It's still on cooldown. Chad has been steadily adding to the totem contributions. Thank you, Chad, for using the Twitch integration, which has now magically started working. I cannot describe to you why that started working, but it is what it is. Also, this is Hatchery 2, but where's Hatchery 1? I'm kind of confused. Did I miss something? So we went here, right? Offering. Then we went to prison, confession booth. It... Did they forget, like, Hatchery 1? Is it just me, chat? Like, I'm really not seeing it in this skill tree. Like, I can... Eventually do the baby stuff for leveling our, our new characters. But I don't remember that being anywhere. Kind of weird. Unless it means the mating tent turns into the hatchery. Because it kind of has one next to it, maybe? Either way, it's kind of weird that they don't call it mating tent, too the thing because everything else is like direct like you can see like the tabernacles here and it feeds into it but this is the only one where it doesn't seem to have a one um i think i talked about needing something over here what did i need no i don't care about the well i mean outhouse is good to improve but i'm looking for something else the kitchen uh i could go for the first scarecrow i guess now let's get a Scarecrow. We're at the point where it would probably be more useful. We'll get Kitchen X. Yeah. Welcome, JJ Persona. That's what I was kind of thinking, but it is weird that it's the only building that behaves that way, where there's no one in the list. Oh, I think I did something silly. I think I forgot to take the reduced uh, ritual thing. I'll check later. Actually, I can check right now. Did I, did I skip that by accident? Oh, no, no, I got it. Okay, I got scared. <laughs> I thought I saw red when I hovered it earlier. Uh, but, 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 hope you're doing well. Let us... Do something like this. Fine. Or Justice for Rado. We can apparently reassure. There we go. No, Promethean, the chat actually brought you back from the dead, but welcome, Promethean. Horrid rats. I would think that's because not being able to hatch the eggs makes you make it's probably done. Probably. Which is why I was thinking it should just be called mating hut 2. Do you know what I mean? Because it was like just fitting with the scheme. Okay, so I think I want. We gotta look at our overall list. Oof, we only have a couple of people with Orcus. That's in Parameter. Then we need somebody with the bow. Fornax is pretty good. We might level Dango. Elkleave has got the bow. Weber's also decent. So, okay, we got a couple Orcuses. It's not the end of the world. But what we should probably do is pick one of those characters. Try to level them. We could get Weber higher. Let's level in Parameter. Am I dead? Maybe JJ Persona. A lot of people went were purged in the old age crisis. Welcome, Ping. Hope you're doing well. Let me know if anybody wanted to make characters, because we'll be getting another batch soon. Justice for Rato. Yeah, he's almost dead, unfortunately. Yeah, at least we have some decent levels here. Well, let's let's see what the poet has to say. Excuse me, leader. I wrote a poem. I wanted you to hear it. Follower Chris, eyes like stars. How beautiful your soul. How lucky we are. Oh, I'm moved by my own words. There you go, Chad. And almost Rado's almost dead as well. <laughs> They're not long for this world, Chad. Spoilers, I guess. Speaking of which, before I go into the next dungeon, can I finally get this? What do I not have enough of? Doesn't that say I have two gold bars? I'm so lost. Or is there a is there a limit to how many of these I could have? It, 
is it just me chat right I i'm not hallucinating this right the number on the left is the cost the right are the resources so i have four required but i have 58 i need two gold bars but i have seven i have 16 hollowed planks but i own but i only need three why can't i make this question mark Unless there's some kind of structure limit. So I'm like, wait a minute. I actually should have been able to make that a while ago. Oh, well. I don't know if actually likes me. He will be spared from violence. Grace the corruption, says Ping. Apparently hops have been thrown everywhere. Let's just give people a lot of grass. You need to make level one one factory first. No, I, I, I already have those. That's the weird part. I should be able to upgrade what I have. Unless it doesn't count the destroyed one. Or is that a bug? Hold on, chat. It might actually be a bug. <laughs> now that I think about it, I wonder if it is actually genuinely a bug. One second. Oh, I burned one by accident. My bad. Also, the, the horde is coming towards me. Yeah, yeah. I burnt my food. Whatever. Question, actually. So... I now don't have enough gold. Why do I not have enough gold? I was gonna say, I should get like a million gold every ceremony. One second. So we have this. Does it not count it because this doesn't exist? Hold on, chat. Are we gonna find an exploit in real time? <laughs> I'm just curious now. I mean, Promethean may be right, but not right. Like, see how this one's destroyed? I can build over that one. But maybe that's not intended. I'm gonna bear witness. Oh, it doesn't count now. Why did the other one count the other day? Okay, so the okay, so the. I'm not sure what happened last session. We definitely replaced a, a broken lumber yard with it. I did two early. They were not broken. I had one that was definitely one broken in the last stream special, and it let me do it. Sure. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? I want somebody to go back and check that VOD. I, I am 90% certain the middle of those three ones was the one that was broken, and I replaced, because I made a comment at the time. That, that I was like, oh, because then I just don't have to open this. That's why I didn't want to destroy the stone mine before. That's very interesting. We'll see if we could get that to happen again. So I want some of these to purposely get destroyed, and we'll check it. Magic wood is confusing. Yeah, I'm curious for sure. I'm really curious how that works now. We'll experiment later, though. Actually, before I go to the new dungeon, did the Doctrine cooldown end? Did, good. All right, so we're speeding through these Doctrines. So, so of the original core game, we have almost everything unlocked. Increase work speed and devotion generation perspectives, but my spectators have fallen becoming sick. Um, okay, so if I do this, they just work faster in general, or I could just choose this one and get a free faith. I mean, there's no reason for me to not at least choose this one. I, I mean, naturally working harder is fine, but we're at the point of the game, I don't think I care. We got enough passive bonuses. Well, no, Promethean. I'm talking about before. <laughs> you can say you're right, but we definitely built on a destroyed structure before. It's like, oh, I really want to go back and look at the VOD and how that worked. Is it like because it got destroyed while I was in the building, it let me replace it last time? I really want to understand it. So question, can I do this? Oh, I don't have enough money to check. Oh, remote battery just ran out. Uh, I'm gonna decline. I don't really want to go to Anchor Deep right now. Yeah, I think I had more than one tier one building out when it was destroyed. 
and then it let me replace it. Which I don't think was intentional. Because it doesn't seem to let me do it now. Probably ask him if I'm dead. I have no idea. Maybe. Wait, hold on. Why did suddenly everybody become sick? What happened? What are they doing over here? Did you eat the pumpkin and just immediately get sick? That really sucks. Okay, so now multiple things have run out of lumber. Unless this one was a level 2 that ran out, and I just don't remember, which could be it. I don't have enough gold. Okay, so may maybe this isn't a maybe this isn't a rank one. That's a rank two. Maybe that's why that didn't work. So maybe it is true that a level one destroyed works. It just I mistook the rubble for level two. That would also explain it, and that would make sense. That that would check all the boxes in my head. I just forgot what level that structure was. Anyway, we'll move on. All right. So what are our four cards? Better chest five one point five weapon. 20 healing. Oh, this is actually a really good set of cards. We'll take that for sure. Poison enemies while attacking. Oh, there's our invincibility. I wish I had that earlier. Unfortunate. Bring the Bishop Shimura. Entering the lands of Bishop Shimura, excuse me. Let's see if all the ways the little faith will be destroyed. So we have my least favorite weapon. But we'll get through it, I guess. At least if I'm invincible, it becomes a bit more fun. As I said before, it's really bad at, like... Hit and run damage. It, You can get, like, a big dash with the dash roll. But at the same time, it's not for a lot of damage. So it's like, the first hit's useful. But if I ever accidentally do this one, this is so slow. It feels super bad. It reminds me of, like, when you're playing Aria of Sorrow. And you try to cancel a weapon that has really bad weapon swing. Okay, there should be a relic. Every five followers get a heart. Okay. I don't have enough money for the other thing. We'll get it eventually. Our followers are pretty happy faith-wise. We're probably gonna have several people die by the time I get back, because there's like three people in old age. Not much I could do about that, sadly. Yeah, that I would agree with. In terms of our results. Hopefully we could get more bones to get people revived. Let's see what Shimura does to stop us. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea at the foot of the long sudden drop. Then the maw pointed teeth beast, the stutter of the heart, then stops. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then he was known by the name Narinder. But as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role, began to question. He was gluttonous at his ambition, and in my impudence, I loved him for it. Oh, for it, I lost my mind. For it, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, Lamb? Have your own turned against you? Would you like to find out? He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known as Narinder. Granite says, I'm sorry. Uh? Oh, I think we might have to kill Granite here. Sorry, Granite Knight. Ouch. And we scared Remote Battery 3 by killing him. Well, that's unfortunate. I could technically die to him to stop me from killing him, but... I'm like, listen, we, we got dungeons to clear. Sorry, Granite Knight. We'll revive you eventually. See, we have, like, one of the best spells in the game for the, the reworked damage. But I'm really hoping we get a better weapon soon. I 
Hammer's also pretty decent. There we go. <laughs> Revive him, put him in prison for betrayal. I don't know about that. We got another upgrade from the silk candle. I guess it's neat being able to warp out at will. Like, I could hold the right button in to teleport. Honestly, I don't even want the damage of the spell. I just want the invincibility, to be real with you. If, if only this was the run we got to the boss, then it would just be over. Alright, so we almost have enough bones to revive twice. I don't know if I'll steal money from chat or not. They did seem to nerf it pretty heavily from last time. I think they realized how cheesy it was. Oh, there's something to do over here. What's to do over here? Is this new? Like a clothes shop. Earth says, darling, you look so drab. If that's how you dress, how ugly are your followers? So I believe this is a new NPC. We have never encountered this character before in our previous playthroughs. Luckily, I sell patterns for the finest fashions. It's a family business. Except for stupid Bob. And don't mind me. Just think about how my no good brother left us all behind. Anywho, you'll need somewhere to craft these darling designs. Perhaps you should look into this. That unlocks something new in the tree. My robe design is five gold bars. Oof, I'll pay it. Now that is a look. You're welcome. New alpha to make it the tailors prefer for doing business in. Okay. Ooh, Aren't you a lamb of the finest taste? A connoisseur of fashion. That's all I have for the moment. Give me some time to draw up a few designs. I promise you'll be the first to have them. Okay, so they're giving more use for money, which I think is always a good thing. Oh, and there's like almost guaranteed health from this too. Wow, this area is really strong. We unlocked a worm. Interesting. Yeah, so this seems like a very overpowered visitation area. I don't know if I really want to go to the fox area or not. I guess I could. Or a cat, I mean. Uh, let's get the follower form. Raccoon acquired. Have I ruined everything yet? Not yet, Dango. Somehow Dango and Imperameter dodge getting picked by the game and having us murder them. So good job on both of you for not being murdered. It's a high bar. The game didn't kill you. Congratulations. So there we go. We're unlocking some new follower forms. We should get one more follower for people that want to make a character. I believe Ping wanted to make a character at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this this spell is actually good. This is like the only spell upgrade other than maybe the homing beasts that I enjoy from the right side of the tree. Remote, ba remote battery is dissenting. Why is remote battery dissenting? What? Remote battery. What a tr what a troublemaker. To the stocks with him. Are we really not going to find another weapon? Unfortunate. I mean, whatever. I have a good setup. I just don't want these to spawn and do anything. Well, that was kind of a struggle to get the clear there, I'm not gonna lie. We could get our first relic of the area. It would be nice before we fight a mini boss. Summon a demon to assist. Oh, yeah, I forgot to actually summon a demon assist. Oh, we got Orcus, the best one. Okay. I'm sure on challenge runs, the ones where you could get bonus hearts is pretty overpowered. Don't get me wrong. Justice Ferrado is dead. Rest in peace, Justice Ferrado. I had a feeling somebody was gonna die of old age. It was inevitable, chat. 
<laughs> Woo. Damn. Dagger, please. Uh, so we got extra fish. Prometheans no longer sick. Congratulations, Promethean. We have enough bones to maybe perform two rituals and maybe a mini ritual of some sort. He just slam into the earth and just instantly die. That's what I just witnessed. Ooh, big damage? That's what I'm talking about. Now we can cheese the boss. Well, I do five hits of two when I could do 12. <laughs> Numbers matter, chat. Oh, I got hit between spell casts. That's so sad. Oh, that would have been GG. So sad, chat. I had like a small delay where I couldn't cast the spell. It got me right at that moment. Unfortunate. But anyway, we killed that boss really fast. Can we talk about that? Hammer's so good. I know. <laughs> Hammer is really good. I just, I just slightly misplayed there. Uh, I probably want blueprint. We're gradually unlocking things. We'll go and revisit the other areas to get the remaining decorations. But for now, let's proceed. So tons of coins, which is good. I have a lot of necklaces to give out to chat. Anybody that doesn't have one, I could probably give at this point. I think I'm holding like four at this point. That's going to decide my fate here. Oh, is it because they had the... Oh, it's because they witnessed somebody die. That's what it was. I'll just murder them. That'll solve it. Where's, uh... There, there's angry remote battery. I'm going to put him in jail real quick. Man, if only we had mushrooms, this problem would have been solved. Alright, let's try to cure remote battery. Deadly dishes spawn somewhere? Oh no. Not trying to off their own characters. Oh, there it is. What if I eat it? That did about what I thought it would do. I prefer chat not to kill themselves. Believe it or not. Unlock the tailor. And now, chat outfit should be selectable. Unfortunately, our faith is super low due to having multiple deaths. Hmm. I probably want to get a bed upgrade. The one that broke. Our faith is, like, so negative right now. I think due to Shimura messing with us. Since there's no downside to this, since they already hate us, I might as well just wake them up. <laughs> right, chat? Like, who cares? Law and order time. Punish sin or celebrate virtue. Um, murdering followers is kind of nice. Uh, we'll ascend for now. I could always unlock murder later. <laughs> ascend is just a, a nice way of getting rid of problematic ones. Should be able to fix their faith. Yeah, this will fix a lot of it. Let's go revive since it's a new day. Alright, who, who is dead? Let's see who's dead. Justice Ferrado, Granite Knight, Remote Battery 2, Cowboy, Hot Garbage, JJ Persona. JJ Persona's here. Let's get JJ Persona first. Welcome back, JJ Persona. Come back from the dead. 
Oh, they're kind of zombieing on us. That's not great. Uh, we're gonna have to cure him. But before we do that, let us. Build some faith. Uh -oh. We may be in trouble. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. I should have enough crystals. I don't know if I have enough flowers. We'll see. So let's go fix our faith before we go further. I mean, I could let them descend forever, but it would be pretty bad for us. I at least want to get out of the red zone. Okay, you can speed that up. Thank you. I was gonna say, I didn't really want to sit through that again. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're at least blue now. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Grab some of these. Chat's slowly resurrecting. Uh, I think we could re-educate remote battery. Give 100% hit caliber. Damn. Close. Okay, can we fix JJ Persona? We don't have enough mushrooms. Um, that's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna... What does Weber want? You shouldn't be shouldn't just be jumping in the net. Okay, that I could do that, that eventually. All right, so we need to go to the mushroom place to detour briefly. Why can't I build these? Not enough gold bars. Got a few more of these. Let's do some of these. That'll keep them a little busier. And I have a lot of wood prepared here. Yeah, Sozo's -so definitely disappointed in us for sure. Let's revenge, just living their best life in the corner there. AJ Persona just kind of zombieing everywhere, I guess. Alright, let's build a better bed to fix our faith. I like I went into the faith category and I was like, wait, actually, even though I have that, it's technically just another structure. That should fix our problem here. I believe if chat wants to make a character, we'll give him a chance. I currently have Hen of the Worm, who has fashionable, generates devotion 20% faster when wearing a unique outfit. Sickly, heals slower. So I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna open up a raffle for anybody that has not made a character. I know there's a bit of a stream delay sometimes, so I'll take a little hydration break. But if nobody enters or says they're going to enter, then we'll take the worm as they are. I don't think we've had the worm before at all. So we'll say final call. Let me know if you're making a character. Otherwise, worm it is. No one claims it. Can we call it Cookie Monster? We could rename the worm, sure. Okay, I think we've given some courtesy time for people that were looking to make a character to say if they were making a character. Or if nothing else, if they're making a character now, they have a few more seconds to make that final decision. But I think it is time to make Cookie Monster. There you go, that's for Promethean. Slightly changed their color. Go for the paler one. What are the worm variants? Here, I'll leave them like this. There we go. Promethean broke remote battery out of prison. What? Promethean, what a troll. Promethean trolling. What was that? There's a jailbreak. I'm getting trolled in real time, chat. Look at remote battery looking all mad. Oh, we almost level Crick again. Yeah, go back to jail, please. We still have folklore from our other fight. Who is unrepentant 
and naturally obedient. So let's, I guess, add them into the cult. Let's see, we've unlocked a pretty big majority of the characters. The ones we're falling behind on are the ones we have to pay to unlock. So we'll get most of these. We got pretty much all the special event ones. You can see this one, I think, is the Twitch-related one. So if chat keeps donating to the totem, that does work now, by the way. So that should unlock more things in the game if you do it. And follower message also works today for those that weren't here earlier. How did it fix? I have no idea. Call it magic. Yeah, eventually I want to do the tailor, but we just don't have enough gold bars. I'm gonna do this in case they're looking for food. Alright, so we really need to get some mushrooms. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go into Anora now. Get the mushrooms and teleport out. My goal is not to get to the mini-boss, I just want to get the mushrooms and leave, basically. Our four unlocks for a diseased heart. Ooh. Ooh, those are some pretty bad cards, I'm not gonna lie. Do we at least get invincibility? No. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Is it me or is the claw hitbox back? Wait a minute. What is going on with this hitbox check? Can we talk about this? Is it just... Di Did they move it diagonal left? Is that what it is? Like, they broke the one that's in front of it, but it hits, like, really stupid far in the corners. Like, we hit that object way further than it should. Either that or the hitbox of the other items are really, really, really broken. Guess you decide. Nah, uh, maybe just the other items were broken. Unfortunate. We still need more mushrooms. Pumpkin pile, sure. The same gullible and unlawful, I can only deduce that Rumo Pattery tricked me. Damn. Oh, we need nine more mushrooms. This is brutal. Oh, I forgot how slow that is before you power it up. No attack speed boost for me. Hmm. Still need more mushrooms. If I have to, I can literally harvest my own. I just prefer not to have to do that. Yeah, Claw also kind of has like the, the biggest windup, I think, of the attacks. It's not great. Decrease in size. Okay. Still need more mushrooms. There we go. Here's the nonsense. Needed five more. Got a bed, don't need that. I really just want to get mushrooms before we lose a character. I figure we have some time for it. Okay, so we're get guaranteed food over here. There's no reason for me to not try to get these. I also can also go up potentially as needed. Spores, but not what I'm looking for. Fortunate. Or worm things. No, no, no. Just trying to loot your boxes. Don't mind me. I don't think we've been to the heart place yet, because there's never really been a purpose to doing so. Joe says. My love took my heart to the sea, the sea she took my heart to the sea. Tis where my heart will be, will be in her bed at the bottom of the sea. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. Look for the heart that was once beat in my chest. That is, until it was taken by her. Been sitting here for so many years. Even her face has faded from mine. Yet I keep searching. Always searching. I have a dozen hearts, you see, but none of them are mine. They are yours if you wish to have them, Crusader. They're worthless to me. I only care for the heart that was once mine. I might look upon her face one last time. 
So by bringing a demon with the heart uh, ability or transfer, we could give them over to this character as needed. I don't really want to buy that card, to be real with you. I was like, the last thing I want is bonus health. I just, the goal is to just never take damage. That's deciding my fate on something, though. Just need, like, four more mushrooms on game. Be kind to give me the mushrooms. Bumper mushrooms are really messing with me. 30 seconds of invincibility. Interesting. That would have been so unfair if I brought this into the boss battle and I still needed it. Can you imagine if chat gave this to me on the no damage challenge, how dumb that would be? I keep getting the spores, but not the thing I'm looking for. Come on, give me the mushrooms. I can use the rainbow thing to maybe save us. We need three more mushrooms. All oh, the invincibility were off. Unfortunate. Those dancing hearts. Come on, mushrooms. Yes, okay, we got exactly what we need. But we'll, we'll finish out the day since time, enough time has passed, it doesn't matter. So if something wants to fight me, that's fine. Uh, why can't I hit him? Oh, they they really messed up Claw's hitbox chat. Look at that nerf. What happened? Please fix Claw. What is that? Please don't do that. I know they nerfed Claw in the previous patch, but it wasn't that bad. Like, the, the wine physically went through the enemy and just didn't hit them. Rip Claw, my beloved. See, there's just sometimes I just feel like the weapon hitbox doesn't make any sense. Like that time I hit really far up into the right. Is it like random what direction it's good in? Like depending on when I dodge roll cancel is where the hitbox is. Is that what's happening? Just curious. Right. So we'll we'll do our best here. I'll just go straight to the end. Kill a boss and be done with it. So we did beat Hecate without taking any damage, because I did get the achievement for the first time, which is kind of nice. But right now it doesn't matter, I'm just looking to clear. Oh wait, I'm injured from chat or er, chat's poison meal earlier. Need to remember that that happened. Uh, I'll play a bit more seriously then. A lot of projectiles. Kind of a bad relic and a not great spell. Kind of awkward. And since I need the dodge roll so much, I'm actually not getting the combo that I need. So I might actually die for real this time. Because this is a lot of projectiles I gotta avoid now. Oh, there we go. Still cleared it. I'll take one of these for sure. So we beat it without any demons and a heart down. I'll take that. <laughs> right, chat? I'll take that. We had some pretty bad uh, cards. Alright, so let's try to get the other person into the tent. I should have enough mushrooms now. We have enough gold left over. I could make stuff with gold bars if I need to. Let's hopefully do this before they eat somebody. Ah. 
of course of course right as i came back that is so unlucky chat so unlucky well sorry wolfang you got murdered by jj persona i tried i'm not sure when they got zombied to be honest with you I know, I was like there, missed it by like a couple of seconds. The remote battery is no longer mad at us, so let's release him. So close. We need to get more jobs for these characters. Definitely want to upgrade a stone mine, that's for sure. I think I need to buy regular wood for a little bit, since the other ones were multi-level. These are okay to get rid of. And I can sell the wood if I need gold. Anybody I could do confession with in order to get a big bonus? Uh, Probably remote battery. Let's see what remote battery has to confess to us today. Angry. Sin. Remote battery did sin. There we go. Harvest for beat, obviously. As you do. Did we ever give Dango something? Oh, we did. Did I ever give JJ Persona a necklace after he came back? I don't think so. Harvest bonus resources, sure, let's give them that. Dango oh. has one. Remote battery, the third, I think, doesn't have one. I have a feather necklace to make a move faster. Azelbub. Birch. Uh... Oh, Duskari has an ability. Everybody else good? Required maid dress, so oh no. That's an unlock, I guess. Pretty sickness is not doing great. Hopefully he has one. We'll give something to Cookie Monster. Make them just move faster. Ludana asking, have I ruined everything yet? Maybe. I mean, at this point, there's no reason to not at least give everybody a necklace. I think we can afford it. If there's somebody worshipping, I could give them the devotion boosters. Like Focalore, for example. Oh, that's not the character I just want to talk to. Let's talk to Focalore there. So yeah, all of our characters, think, I think, now have a necklace, which is good for us. Now we just need to build the tailor. Sin isn't there. Need more gold bars. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a ton of gold bars, I have a feeling. That should do. That'll keep them busy for a while. <laughs> At least we have a decent amount of resources. Probably need another fertilizer thing, since I'm running out constantly. It sucks that everything costs gold bars at the moment. Like, everything needs a million gold bars. Like, I even have three different stations for it. But it just requires so much at this point. <laughs> We're gonna feed them. Then what we can do, can I revive somebody or do another ritual? I could do the fishing one as needed. We're not off cooldown of that one. Let's do... Alms into fishing, maybe?
Because I do need a lot of gold bars, to be fair. Like, I need a lot. If we, if we need improvements for the settlement, I need stuff from chat. So getting, like, 100 here would be huge. So we tank our faith, but then I could build faith up and do the fishing stuff. So we could get that out of the way. Because that was a side quest from the chat. And then I can also get more fishing stuff for chat. And then once our cult has stabilized again, we'll go back in the new dungeon. And I should be able to maybe upgrade dagger in case I get dagger again so I can actually do something with it. Because the heavy attack improvement actually makes it feel decent to me, but I can't fully rely on it sadly. push me almost over the edge for the upgrades, which is good. Anything else I could do with Doctrine while I'm here? No, I don't quite have enough. Close, though. More money. So we're at 159 extra coin, which means I can afford to... probably upgrade the refinery, finally. I'm gonna do this to fix our faith, and then I'm gonna go fishing for a bit. I'm gonna wake Weber up just to hand this in. Nice. And we're gonna then take all the gold bars I just used to make more gold bars. That's how it works. Is there anything else I needed to unlock here? Really? I guess fertilizer storage would be good. That'd be the last major thing that I want to unlock, other than maybe kitchen. Everything else is just kind of nice. But not super required. This is like a million gold bars. Brutal. Upgrade that. I think for the most part, at least we should be generating a ton of resources on the side. We're keeping our crops mostly safe. I don't feel like I'm running low on food. Good feeling. And I picked up a lot of mushroom spores in the last dungeon, so I should start getting more going forward, which is also nice. That is, I guess, the plus side of the spores. Start getting a lot more later. So I could technically run a third farm if I want to. But I think at the current food pace, we're making enough that it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go fishing for the other achievement. So yeah, so in theory, I could build a third farm and then try to position the totems a little better. So that way, uh, we can... Chess deciding my fate again. So that way I can protect the crops a little better. Because having more than one farmer here would be huge. So technically what I could do is put a third farm in between in order to have them do it. So maybe that would make sense. Oh, almost Rado has also died. Wow, we're having the Great Purge. And then Kirk became old. Oh wait, no, they reverted him into a child. Well, time to harvest them. Um, I don't know what that'll do for Kirk, but he has been age regressed, I guess. I think the smart thing to do would be to build another farm now and have it partially overlapped with some of the other ones. So I might need to reposition the farms when I'm done. But it could just result in more help overall. I can move these out of the way later. The opposite of old. Yeah, I wasn't sure because we were getting kind of a weird event. Yes, yeah, so now we can have a third person at least watering. 
And then what I could do is reposition the farm, so that way we could be more efficient here. Let's go ahead and just upgrade the farm immediately as well. Stop talking to them, I want to build. Here we go. Yeah, and I can kind of... Maybe I'll build one more Scarecrow as well. I'll think about it. But now we gotta play the repositioning game. So I'm gonna move the seed silo probably over here. I don't really want them in the way. That way I could kind of do something in the middle like this. Ones that are kind of over here can be overlapped a bit more. I need one more scarecrow. I, I wish I could see the radius of this. Oh, there's the radius. If I move one over here, text more, I think. make more sense to move this one over here. I don't lose any crops necessarily. Let's just have better coverage. The question I guess is do I want to cover the far sides or not? Oh, so all those crops are actually protected, so I don't even care about those at all. I should put this one here. Maybe this will work. I guess that works. And I can do a couple more plots. It looks a bit weird, but I think this will be fun. So that way we have more protected food and we have more people working the fields, which is ultimately what I want. How much is the tailor? Nine or yeah, we still need more silks. So we're going to collect more gold bars. We're going to use up some of our stuff here. I don't need silk thread yet. This should be fun. We're trying to make this area a little healthier for people before I go fishing in the night. I think this is fine. You know, we just have like a much better setup overall. I think that's good. So now, now we're losing less over time. While also still getting slightly more for our increased population. Yeah, we definitely want to fish while we can here. Yeah, see now we're getting multiple pairs of fish thanks to the bounty. At least I'm going to try to do the mini, or the side quest here, since we had a character actually request it. Let's see, did we get what he needed? We did, one of them. The elusive squid, here take this. Cut it maybe 50 years ago, no use for me. So we are on our way to unlocking another fleece, speaking of. If I do want to get one, I could now. I basically want to fish out the whole area here while we have the bounty, since we get more. Yeah, like, I even got a gold bar from that, which is huge. That's all the- that's like, I need like, what, 16 of them? So anything that potentially gives us more is huge. The ocean bounty, kind of fun if you're looking to take a break from the main gameplay. Ooh, this one's stubborn. Let's see, I think I got the other one, I did. Gave him lobster. Officer, very good, as promised. Here's a bit of treasure. Yeah, it just makes fishing three to four times more worth it. Which, again, if you're just waiting for the cult time to pass, makes fishing really strong. Not bad, not bad at all. You're a pro with the pole. You stock me up nice and good. If you find the fish and scarce, I'll sell them. Okay, so now we can just buy fish whenever we need to. That's a good unlock. But we're going to wait until day. And in doing so, we're going to get more fish. Because in order to get the best meals in the game, you do need fish. So you can technically avoid doing the fishing minigame now. But we use the ocean bounty at least in order to get it in the first place. 
That's kind of nice. So at least we could say we took advantage of it to just get that out of the way. It wasn't too bad. Oh, this fish is being stubborn. Please. There we go. Kirk was neglected for a day? What? Did I read that correctly? Oh, because he's a child. Um, but I, I don't think I have anything to do with him yet. I guess we should build a nursery or whatever the heck. I guess we'll learn, chat, how that whole thing works. Poet's Revenge has something to tell us. Blessed lamb, please listen to my poem. With the power of the crown, the mighty lamb brought Leshy down. It's beautiful, is it not? Yeah. The, the ocean bounty does last for a while. Let's have Weber come in here real quick. Because I potentially want to bring Weber with us on the next journey. So him being stronger is big. Because there's just free damage. Um, I don't even think I have any structures to care for him. Like, just none of it has been unlocked. We need more gold bars still. We're getting closer. Even have the healthy and healthy home, the cold compound, something like that. Apparently, we could choose the nurture Kirk. That's an instant rank up? Whoa, chat. Whoa, that is really strong. Okay. Uh, wow, I wish I just had a button that leveled people up instantly. It's literally five times better than the next best thing that we have. Huh? This'll spook him real quick. Maybe better too strong, apparently. We'll do our best. Yeah, now they seem to be at least holding their own here. Is there anything else I could do? Did I get enough of a doctrine? I did. Okay. No, I did not. I could get a fleece, though. Or for sand, I could get something. Always start with blunderbuss. Oh, okay. That one's kind of fun. Hearts are replaced by one and a half times the amount of blue hearts. Eh. Kind of like our current one. Golden fleece is extremely powerful, but it's kind of like playing with uh, Dark Flow. You're just constantly just going... You're like on the edge of death at all times. Like, not bad. It definitely leads to some very cheesy fights. Like, if we get that plus the invincibility spell, boss fights are over in like five seconds. Uh, let's definitely get godly weapons. I, I didn't realize we didn't have this already. That's actually a good attribute to get. I prefer more damage. Our faith is looking restored. We got a decent amount of coins. So if I do need to buy something in panic, it should be fine. Hmm. Alright, let's try diving into the dungeon. We're gonna ignore Ocean's Bounty for now. I think our cult's in a pretty steady place. We just need to basically teach them kitchen and it's all over. What did we get? Receive double health, curses consume less, drop double fervor. Okay, that's good. We're going curse build this time. You know what? I'll take godly dagger. That That's fine, actually. That's a lot of bones we just acquired. Oh, I should have seen if we could revive somebody. I'm not what I once was. Though no longer wise, I am no fool. Though the end draws near. Take some comfort in confession. The blame hangs heavy round my neck. I introduce him to ideas of change. For my domain is knowledge. It is ever evolving. An organic state of being for myself. But for him, most unnatural. Death cannot flow backward. 
It was I who had had him chained, forced into subjugation by the four of us. Uh, I'm gonna refuse the bow. A lion in the guise of a lamb. I expect no less from Lessel the Red Crown. Very well, war is my domain. Oh, we're actually killing in like a semi-reasonable number of hits. It only took like one of the more broken weapon and damage things for us to do so. Oh yeah, I like that, like that spell range. So we get more fervor and spell costs less. That's a pretty good uh, compensation for dagger. So we finally have enough other bonuses to make up for the short range of dagger, which is a good feeling. Fortunately, we did not get dagger very early on, as that would have been very sad. But right now, I think this weapon is fine. <laughs> when it's the best possible attribute, it's just... it's workable. Because I can kill in like a semi-reasonable number of hits. But that also means if we get Godly Hammer, we basically three or four shot bosses. And if we have Golden Fleece and Godly Hammer, we can almost literally one shot, I think. Maybe two shot. Come one and come all to the Palace of Wonder and Delight, where all glimmers is gold. Guaranteed. Oh, we finally get to go to this guy. Midas' Cave opens seven days. There we go, chat. The last location in the standard game has now been unlocked. I like the caves looking like they're weeping. Always a good sign. We made it to the end, but there was another room we could explore. Oh, Dusk has died. Remote battery afraid of death. Unfortunately, when somebody dies like that, I think that tanks our faith pretty heavily. That was an excellent use of our fervor, because Dagger was never going to clear that fast enough. So we have enough spider silk for the tailor. Ooh, there we go. Look at that chat. Dagger is actually fun. How'd that happen? <laughs> it only it only took literally every upgrade. The original dagger was kind of bleh. Like vampire daggers? Get out of here. I don't want those. I don't even want to get hit. Nice. We have a ton of bones. We should start getting mushrooms, so getting people's faith to cap for a while should be ultra easy. So if I want to mushroom them up and then uh, steal money from them, that would be much easier to do now. Since they've been growing mushrooms for a while. Any other things we haven't been to? There's a fertilizer thing. A mystery event. Um... Honestly, I think I'm just going to skip the normal combat. Let's go to the house and then go to the mystery event. I think this is the relic place, right? Yeah, it is. Sadly, I have no money. I keep converting them all to gold bars. We are actually making a good amount of money every day, like over 180. Due to, like, combat and sermons and stuff like that. But unfortunately, we need, like five bajillion gold bars to do what we need to do. That's a lot of chests. But chests apparently deciding my fate. This was a great mystery room. I guess we're catching up on the generic rewards now. Well, my fervor is fully restored. I guess that was worth it. If chat gives me invincibility and I can reach the boss, it would be so sick. But I'm pretty far from the boss, sadly. See. Oh. Too many boss you have will have increased health. Oh, okay. That works too. That's fun. It'll be like I never found godly dagger and I just got regular dagger. I understand, chat.
Yeah, when Dagger can I, like actually two-shot things, it feels so much better as a weapon. Because it doesn't offer a lot of hit stun compared to the other choices. Oh, I walked into that. That was me being dumb. Oh, if that was Godly Hammer, I would have picked it up. I'm actually going to try to beat it with Godly Dagger. Where else am I going to actually enjoy Dagger? Sadly, I took damage there. Could have had a no damage run. Not surprised I took damage to inanimate objects. Not even an enemy. There we go. Ooh, we've gotten so many coins. Hopefully we can multiply it at least later. Okay. Go this way. Oh, thought I could reach him. I was like slightly out of range. Oh, again, I keep overestimating how much Jagger is doing. Unfortunate. Oh well. I mean, on the plus side, we have longer dagger throws, so at least I can hit from pretty far away if I need to. That was the original way of playing it ultra safe on a ball, so just do the dagger throw. Make up for its terrible range normally. Alright, let's go fight this little mini boss. Okay, for... Oh. there. That was so unfortunate. Right at the end it took damage. Oh well. Again, I feel like I'm just getting hit more by the enemy. Oh, I didn't. That also sucked. I picked up a reward without seeing what the other ones were. Because I was just attacking. I was gonna say, I feel like I mostly just get hit in this game, not from boss patterns, but from like them spawning random enemies. It's not my favorite of game design choices to be honest, but it is what it is. It's like when you're paying attention to like four moving objects, sometimes you just don't realize how close the other one is. Unfortunate. Oh, are we getting the Traveler finally? Or whatever it's called, the Merchant. So art, so thou art the creature causing the ether of this world to ripple and warp. It has been an age since I had made the acquaintance of a new sort of idol. Continue in this fashion and we shall, can, we shall meet again hence. If not, be thankful for a meeting now. I agree. Cross, sword, sun, infinity, cross, I cross, sword cross. Hmm. Deep. Anyway, let's continue for now. Eventually, we'll be able to basically purchase some of the doctrines that we were not able to select in normal gameplay. And that was also added in one of the previous expansions. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, harvest for meat in front of everybody. Don't mind me. Unfortunately, it gave me a lot of dialogue on the left, and I did not see what it was. Only Vefar as is. Nobody seems to be, uh, doing the raffles. We'll just continue further forward. I don't know. I'll tell them to chop trees, I guess. Oh, it's where we'll... Oh. Oats Revenge is revolting against us? Where is he? Oh. Wicked Hicket, so proud in the first amount she found. I mean, well, with the prison with you. Chad is probably happy I jailed the poet. Wow, this prison is getting so much use, chat. This is probably the most I've ever used in any playthrough. Oh, uh, we don't quite have enough for Twitch chat for the contributions yet. We're getting close, though. I'm gonna free him when you're not looking. Damn.
Uh, I'd like to get the tailor out of the way, because I'm sure chat would like to dress up their characters. I'm not sure if chat was able to choose outfits before this point. I guess I'll put the structure... I don't know. I guess over here for now. Doesn't really matter. And then the other thing that I need is... Probably Demon Circle 3. The upcoming boss. And then I need to make a lot of gold bars. Like, a lot, a lot of gold bars. As many as I can, honestly. Okay, so we're officially out of money again. We have a ton of wood. I'm gonna try to do an Intimidate here to level up the surrounding people. Take this. Can I level Kirk again? Wow, that's so unfair, chat. Wow, Kirk is now our most leveled character. That was easy. Divine inspiration unlocked. Damn right. Yeah, let's go get the uh, kitchen out of the way. Okay, so this is the last major thing we need in order to basically leave the cult on their own for a while. Our faith level is not looking great, but we can fix this. Oh, before we do that. Revive. Get somebody back. Welcome, Steve. Hope you're doing well. So many dead chat characters. Let's get Draculina back in. I don't think Steve has a character yet, so let me know, Steve, if you want to make a character later. We need more. The other bonuses. So, so, sorry to hear that. Hopefully, your night improves. Can't say too long. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit, I think, before we get a character. Because I don't have money to make a purchase, sadly. Oh, we got a free Doctrine, though. That's helpful. It's all fair in level war. Oh, uh, you know what? We've never done wedding. So you can marry one of your followers. Ritualistic fight pit is kind of funny, though. I'll do wedding. We we've always skipped this one. I don't know if I'll run it. But at least I'll say that I got wedding in a run. Although pit fights are kind of funny. We'll probably get that one eventually. Let's see. Yeah, let's make sure their faith is just capped for a while. <laughs> a bit more attractive these days? Damn. It's already working apparently. We're gonna drug up the chat. That's how you make chat happy. Just mushroom them real quick. So thanks to the prohibition thing, we should just be getting insta faith max. And then while we're here, oh, I can't get money yet. I can't steal from the chat. We're so close. Um, I don't really want them to work day and night yet. We really just need a way to get money. Is I could probably make if Steve, if you want to stick around, I could probably help you get a character. I'll sell just like a few of these arbitrarily for cash. Sell so gold bars for money. I think that's actually good enough. Oh, battery has a quest for me. First, there's some others to cast from the call and now seek a place to join us. Sure. I could get Old Man Steve. But I prefer to have a different character for Steve. Hmm. I'm gonna leave this character as is. What do they have? Lustful. Very affectionate towards other followers. Pervert. <laughs> right, chat? Sure. <laughs> well, let's go get Steve a real character <laughs> that is not just an old man bound to die in any second. Uh, 
hopefully we could go make a purchase right here and give Steve a character. There we go. Future Steve. Hopefully, Steve, if you're near the PC or mobile, we'll be able to make the character. Otherwise, I'll put him in hold for now. I don't usually like to make that purchase, but I'm willing to do it for Steve. Let's see. Steve will come with... Germaphobe, gullible, naturally obedient. Not bad. But I will open it up for other people that want to enter the raffle. Wow, that was instant. But, oh. Not letting me. I can't select end raffle. Uh oh. What happened? Feeling okay there, game. That was weird. Sorry, if somebody just entered something, it really confused the game for a second. <laughs> I have to re enter. It weirdly did not give me an option to choose Unrental. I don't know if it let me choose the character. You should be able to now, Steve. You might need to refresh. Oh, you're deciding your fate. Maybe that's what happened. There we go. Steve is here. He is Raccoon. Welcome, Steve Raccoon. There we go. We'll tell Steve to, I guess, work in the mines. Next ritual does not require any resources. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Thank you, chat. Uh, I mostly just need... Hmm. I guess I could just do the Rite of Wrath. Who will be the Sin Leader? I think I'll cleave the Sin Leader. Are they destroying the town? Wow. Oh, they're beating each other up. No, remote battery. Man, chat is destructive. <laughs> well, I guess chat got some of their murderous rage out on the random op options. Let's try to talk to Hellcleave. Oh, Hellcleave didn't actually cap out on Sin. That's what that other meter meant. Oh, so we just kind of destroyed those buildings for no reason. But what I can do is build a super building. Oh, this is just a structure by itself. That's fine. Oh, they only destroyed shelters. That kind of sucks. More violence, more mayhem. Yeah, that is a bit weird, Steve. Hopefully you're able to resolve the issue. Find whatever the strange sound is. cook some meals. Hopefully Kirk's character ages at some point. I, he was kind of good at doing what he did. Missing him kind of sucks. I will take the gold nuggets from the random collection tray. Put them into more bars. Okay, can I steal from the chat? The waking them up has no penalty to me now. I might as well as go for it. Get some more money from chat. I almost thought Baby Kirk crawled in to get robbed. Okay, so this will go towards more town improvements. Hmm. I'm looking to potentially have a Faith Enforcer. I think that's the last thing I want to get from Law & Order. Hmm. 
know what? I'll have them work day and night. Their faith is at max. I guess there's no downside to this. Were you able to use the tailor? You should be able to update your character's looks. I don't know if you had the option when you created the character. Only Chad would be able to tell me. But we could check out the tailor after this. But before night happens, I would like to... No, no, stop talking to the characters. Go to the confession booth. Come on, let me use the confession booth. Ridiculous. Getting trolled. Don't think we can update them? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna level up in Parameter even further. Because this does seem like an easy way to at least level one person. Um... Sure, I'll give chat the creepy looking robes. Oh, is it like per character? Oh. Well, that's a little... Hmm. I, I don't think I'm ready for this portion of the game. That's kind of... A semi... Change the cult colors, I guess. Interesting. I'll craft a couple. Oh no, it's like the Shadow Heart wheel. Oh no. Why is this a thing? Hmm. Where's Chris's character? Can I gift him the. Or nothing else, just give him a small gift. Chris earned it. Got a coin. Or, ta or a cookie, it looks like. Never mind. Couldn't tell due to the darkness. No available prisons. That was a good sentence you want to hear. Um, I don't seem to have the ability to dress the character, so maybe chat characters I can't reassign the looks later. I go to like one of the other characters, like Cookie Monster. I give them something. I honestly don't know how it works. We crafted it, but it's like, oh, maybe I, oh, I assign it this way. Oh. So I can't override people's looks. Give Chris the death robes. There we go, Evil Chris. We'll do Merchant for... Eve. There you go. Anyway, I've chatted some... Oh, Steve and Chris like the new outfit, apparently. I like that if I just mash it while it's in the middle, I'm very likely to just chain it successfully. Alright, we can make a lot of mushrooms from this. This is a good sign, Chad. We now have consistent materials. I'm sorry, did that say 100 pumpkins? Nice. Reminds you of violence. Nice. At this point, we're mostly just running out of seeds, which I guess is a good sign. Since we've been uh, doing pretty well here. I'm gonna tell Remote Battery to rest. Oh, Chris has a quest for me. Peter, I'm in love, but Dango42 doesn't know I exist. Would you gather 10 flowers from me from Darkwood so I might woo them? Oh, For love, I guess. No love, apparently. Uh, can I upgrade anybody here? Upgrade Chris. <laughs> Poor Dango. <laughs> Dango's like, what's happening? There we go. Chris is confessing love, apparently. But he's also leveled up. So he'll just be more efficient at whatever he does. Fires from afar. There we go. 
We're getting the layers now in chat. Get an upgraded bed here. That'll make them happy. I guess I'll go to Darkwood, and then when I'm done with this, we'll continue with the dungeon. It's very easy to get sidetracked with follower side quests. I'm gonna make sure that we don't dilly-dally beyond this point. I'll give them spare meals if they really need them here. Oh, that's right. They've been storing stuff over there. Okay, with three farmers there, they should have pretty good coverage. I guess I'll buy Golden Fleece so it stops telling me that I have something to do here. I don't want to wear it, so if it puts it on, I'm taking it off. Or I guess I could do it while we're in the villa. I guess it doesn't matter there. Oh. So far, we don't have enough Twitch contributions there to do anything new. But I think everybody else is good. I don't know how they keep breaking beds. I swear every time I look around, something else has been destroyed by chat. Chat is very destructive. Alright, let's go to the dark wood one more time. Almost went to the wrong place. And then we can check out Midas, and then we can continue to beat the game. Because once we're done with the other bishop, we could just literally go beat the game. Merciless Sword. Oh, that's a fun one. And terrible, terrible spell. As long as we don't take damage, we just get a damage multiplier going. Though potentially we can end up out of control with our stats. Especially on a weapon that has guaranteed crit. Unfortunately, we have a terrible spell. Which means that we don't really have an easy way of farming kills early. Which does kind of blow. 1.2 multiplier we'll take though. I really want to get a better spell soon. The card person's back since we changed fleeces. If anything good for us. First damage up would be really great. We just need a better spell now. So we got two of the Camilla that we need. I'll make an offering. Why not? What kind of card can we get here? Preferably attack speed up. Um, I'll take extra health, I guess. But it super matters. Oh, we got one of the more annoying ones to have. You can already see we're starting to get into one-shot territory. We're still pretty low on the levels. Ideally, we want to take Curse up and then just kind of make it go out of control from there. Anything that makes Curses... Oh, randomly negating damage is huge on that kind of challenge. Another card. Wow, we're getting cards like every five seconds. Sure, we'll take another health. Um... There's fish, there's a follower. I probably want to go here and then here to maximize our chance of getting the camelo. I'm, th I'm assuming some of the side areas might have it. Like this, this room I would not expect to have it. The next one might. We still need to get more. Even if I have to do a normal exploration, that should be fine. So I'm gonna go here on the off chance that they have it on sale here. They don't. Take the berries. Poor worm creatures. Let's go here, because I'm just looking to get general pickups. We instantly got a card. 10% chance of getting health when killing an enemy. Lose red heart, gain hero card. Oh, that's perfect. So we lost the health that I didn't have and just got free abilities. I think chat can agree. That was like the best upgrade I could ask for. All I really need is just a real spell for the boss and I can kill this boss like nearly instantly because I'm doing almost double damage currently. And keep in mind I can crit. 
And that crit does the multiply damage. If we could get a better weapon, it would be amazing. Invincibility? <gasps> we got invincibility. Actually, that's huge. That's huge. That's exactly what you want in this kind of build. Holy. Now we could be cheesy. This is how you get the no damage clears. And a free relic. Batter's no longer injured. Nice. I mean, if we could get a stronger weapon... Ooh, Axe might be a little too zealous hammer. Oh. <laughs> Chat, oh. Um, that should be basically one-shot territory right now. So if the hammer hits them, they die. And we have invincibility. Yeah, we're definitely in one-shot territory. We just have to avoid that stupid thing, and then we're fine. Easy room clear. We did actually make it to the end, which is hilarious. boss be on this door, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. So, we still didn't find the flowers, I don't think. We only had seven. Unless I get a flawless run, then we have enough. Let's look a little more. So we're at more than double damage, so it's like I'm always critting with hammer right now. And hammer's already strong enough to one-shot everything in the game right now. Just have to knock it hit. Okay, so we should have enough flowers. Can I get a different weapon or a different... Oh, I want the gun. Probably not. All right, let's just go beat the stage. I think we're good. 155% damage. We're going to say, eh, good enough. My right, chat, just, just a small damage multiplier while invincible. We have four chances of invincibility. This should be an absolute stomp. We're going to walk up, swing, invincibility, if possible. Oh, I took damage right at the end. Damn. I thought the invincibility was going to last longer. That sucks. On the plus side, this fight's still over. So sad. I got hit, like, right as it was ending again. I got trolled. <laughs> That's fine, though. Take a hedgehog. We got what we needed. I'll get extra flowers, because we're going to give them away. I might as well as receive more. But we could see the damage potential. Although, interestingly, because the boss also summons enemies, I could still get the bonus back to some extent while playing. So we have enough bones to revive another, char or another chat member. And we have enough gold that I can probably get our last upgrade for the town. I should be able to forward the kitchen, and maybe I could do something with the nursery? We'll see. That's deciding my fate, it seems. Hmm. I think what I want to do is move the buildings over. Something like this janitor station like here and then put the kitchen here Does that work Steve has become baby oh let's care for Steve I guess 
There we go. Steve is loved. Instant level up. Well, I guess that's an easy way to just get more doctrines. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. Um, we haven't been using Missionary at all to get free things, but to be fair, I don't think we need it. I guess I can get the nursery. Eternal Youth is mine. That basically did just happen. Steve was given affection. Hmm. Alright, so what I want to do is... Can we get a kitchen going? We can. Perfect. I want all the food places to be really close to each other. That way if I need to cook something or they need to cook something, they'll be basically there. And I want to move the outhouses a little further away. I know they have to walk to it to use it, but it also means that if it overflows, it shouldn't be too bad. Give Chris the things he's looking for. Thank you, leader. Now I just need to work up the courage to talk to them. There we go. Did they just destroy the prison? Okay. I think this is good for now. Is there anything else I need to do here? Everything else I Oh, we need more- still no- more gold bars as usual. Why did I even ask? We have a million consecrated materials other than wood. We're actually kind of low on stone, so I have to be careful here. I need to get more stone mines. Make sure that they're able to do it. Ah, oh, the stone mines collapsed. That now makes sense. Right, chat? That actually makes sense why they're not giving us as much stone now. Oh, Poet's Revenge got free. Due to the prison break. We're gonna go ahead and re-educate them. Again, this prison has gotten the most use I've seen in any playthrough so far that we've done. Poor Diego is sick. Come to rest. So we could queue up a ton of items for them to make. So I could just tell them to do a bunch of grass and a whole bunch of basic berries. Kind of nice. Then I can manually cook, cook a couple of these. The follower loyalty up is also pretty good. is just roaming free. Also, I've lost track of where Kirk is. He's here somewhere. There he is. We probably need to do a nursery. Okay, so the question is, is it hard capped at level 10 like I'd seen before? It is. The level 10 is the most that we could do. Okay, so we need to get the nursery soon. And then I need to get... Oh, we can actually build one of these. This is good. Um, where can I put this so this is less in the way? I can do this, and then move this. Yeah, let's put this, like, over here. And I can do more plots if I need to. Let, let him say free-range babies. we could get rid of these. Will it be working day and night for a while? And now what I can do is put all the fertilizer we have in here. Although I wish there was a way to mass put this in here. But anyway, this should keep them busy for a while, so I don't need to micromanage this anymore. We're gonna keep some because I need it for construction, but at least this should mean that I don't have to check it for quite a while at this point. We'll leave ourselves with 80. There we go. Promethean the chef. Look at him go. Anybody else I feel like upgrading? Who could be taken to confession? Let's remote battery again. So yeah, it's, so I like the condition for just pushing our people that are like high rank 
a little bit higher. So we could focus our demon characters to potentially be better. So now if I do sermons and stuff, they should be good. So let's try to get our sermons out of the way. Don't think I got enough for another doctrine, sadly. Can I do anything else like revive people? I can. Okay, who has died recently? <laughs> We're gonna deal with them real quick. Uh oh. <laughs> Hot garbage is dead. Um, I'm not bringing back hot garbage. Let's bring out cowboy, I guess. Hot garbage knows what they did, chat. This should be a very easy weapon level up for us. So when Kirk eventually gets older, as does... They'll end up very, 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 very useful. Yeah, we're making Claw a little better to make up for the fact that it got nerfed. So every time we do this, it's pretty much a guaranteed level up, which is nice. A little extra cash doesn't hurt. Start reviving chat characters after this. That one was a level two, so we can't upgrade it. Okay. As long as I have like just a lot of working camps, they should always just have something to do, which is nice. Doing stuff like this will guarantee that I have what I need. Not bad. I guess I'll spoof remote battery three. Pretty close to leveling. So it just kind of makes sense to do. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that they left the cap at only level 10. Oh, Hellcleave died. Rip Hellcleave. Uh, we're gonna just kill Hellcleave. <laughs> just hold on, chat. We're getting his bones back. Rip Hellcleave. I can't give Steve any necklaces, or else I would. Or help leave. Tango's just kind of out here doing whatever. Hmm. I think we're actually doing pretty well. Based off of what I'm seeing here. I could use like a couple more plots if I need to. Put some stuff down here, for example. But I think food-wise, we're doing just fine. Could eventually purchase more seeds. Uh-oh, what does Chris want? Did I give Dango 42 flowers, but it's not enough. I need to wow them. Can you make a delicious mirror for us to share, toge to share together? Splendid vegetable feast. I don't remember how to make that. I hope we have the ingredients for it. Also, we can make a lot of mushrooms right now. Baby Steve causing trouble. Can I even make that? I don't think I can, right? Eat the purple. We have everything but the purple. I don't know if that's beets or whatever. We'll come back to that soon. Dang, Chris has no game. Damn. The call out. Let's go to the Midas Cave. Welcome, welcome. Look, everyone, we have a visitor. Oh, stop laughing. Our guests may not look like much, but fortune favors the gold. I mean, bold. My dear new friend, Midas' Cave serves a certain class of clientele. You can meet those standards. Welcome. If not, please look around. We're my guests here. I'll leave you to. Or use. Should you have any questions, Midas is here to help. Poor Chris. I can buy new follower forms later. I can sacrifice a follower for money. If I feel like it. Now I'm sure great leaders such as yourself get plenty of devotion from your followers for free. But surely a visionary like you could always use 
More? We can offer you our devotion for a great price. The price goes up the more you want it, and down the longer you leave it. The question really is, how long can you resist? I don't really care about devotion in this game. This is where we trust our precious gold to the gods. Sometimes in the benevolence they give back more, other times it is lost. But it is not for us mere mortals to question. A present company excluded, of course. For the use of such a service, the organization would require a... Let's call it a donation. Okay, I don't have enough for that yet. We're, we were busy upgrading. We'll, we'll do that later. I want to change my fleece out. I don't really want to be double damage fleece for the upcoming stuff, if I can avoid it. Unless I can guarantee invincibility or a good weapon. But right now I don't have gold to really do that. Oh, what I could see... Did I purchase any of the seeds from this character? I can. Ooh, but I only... Oh, that's not a good trade. Uh, so we need to potentially go further to get the beet roots. I'm gonna harvest grapes. Let the time pass. Just got back what happened with me. Chris is trying to woo Dango. It's not going well. Dango's rejecting so far. Baby Steve is on the run. I still don't know where some of the characters are. I'm fair meter to go to sleep. We should have enough beds for everybody. I made extra beds. Noir and JJ Persona have become friends. Oh, look at that. Hey. Hey. Rude. You're getting bullied back. Rude. That goes like I'm hard to get. Damn. Stole my coins, chat. Make more gold bars. Any other resources I can use? More consecrated wood, why not? Did we re-educate you? Oh, we have, okay. I'm gonna wait for a new day to pass and then we're gonna go and continue our adventures. Apparently sickness is rampant everywhere. I love I just saw briefly in the corner of my eye. Cookie Monster lives here. That'll fix things. Right now they can't clean out their own outhouse, which is a problem. Not sure if there's something else that they puked that I just don't see. I see all these destroyed icons, but I don't see like other things I can interact with either. I guess I could have fished more while we are waiting. That's fun. Oh. Rick is able to, as a baby, worship and give devotion? Okay. I, I guess that works. There we go. Our stone count is now in the safety levels. Dango's re reached old age. Oh no. Oh, baby Kirk is here. And under your care since I hatched, now as an adult, I offer myself to you entirely. Oh. He just comes back. Okay. There we go. Kirk is back. Rip Dango. Oh, Noir is leaving. But he was a spy? Oh, I didn't notice. I guess it makes sense. I should be on the lookout for characters that their names don't really make sense. Just that we, when we take breaks, I kind of forget. That makes sense, because I was trying to—I was actually trying to recall when we got Noir, and the answer is we didn't. So I guess if I name them something unique, like if I name every character with a number, I could probably figure out who is not they say they are. That's so sad. JJ Persona found a friend, he just immediately betrayed and left. Oh, that, wow, Kirk's immediately a plus 10 here. That's huge. Uh, let's go ahead and... I guess getting Blessed version of Relics doesn't hurt at some point. Let's, let's improve our heavy attacks. Relics are nice, but I don't think mandatory. Oh, Ziggy only sees this as numbers. I mean, if I named you all with, like, one hyphen and then a number, it would be easy to see who the spy is when they don't fit the name formula. 
Twitch chat's deciding my thing. Oh, baby Steve is doing something. Let's give him love. This should just rank him up instantly. So the, this mechanic is kind of nice to shortcut people to higher levels. Eventually, Steve will be a super worker. Steve was given affection. I'm gonna let Chat decide my fate, and then we'll move on to the next dungeon. We'll do... A lot of cute pumpkins. Just need a lot of beetroot seeds. No problem. Great meal to have spawned. Oh, that counted towards it. Oh, chat actually saved me some. I just need to get a couple more then. distance. I just need more generic seed. And the Sigari is almost dead. Okay. Oh, let's go to the next area. Where is Witness Sigari? Pokalore leveled, which is always nice. There he is. Tell him bed rest. Let's get a doctrine going. So we're almost done with all the standard ones. Uh, just the sin ones left. As I said before, I would like a loyalty enforcer soon. Leave for the original sin. All are born guilty. Reduce faith loss from putting follower in jail. It's not descending. Freedom above all else. Ready other begins without anyone in prison. Gain 10 faith. Oh, this is pretty easy to get. Um. Yeah, hopefully I don't need to do this. But this just means that if time passes, I restore faith without needing to worry about it. it. Might be useful for us. It doesn't say we get a penalty if they go in the prison. Okay, what was I trying to unlock over here? Um, I don't think I need anything there. We got the kitchen last time. I could upgrade this Scarecrow if I want to. Sure, why not? So let's get Poet's Revenge out of here. That way I can start generating faith to counter the dungeon that we're in. Sensor over there with a little better one, two, and three. Hmm. So I guess what I need to do is potentially unlock the murder action if I want to get rid of spies, I guess is what happened. I love baby Steve just living a happy life doing whatever. Oh, I could choose to deposit all fertilizer there. Okay, that's fair. At this point, I just need to get our seeds back. Also, we somehow went from zero mushrooms to 208. It's kind of insano. Wonderful leader, I've dedicated myself to you, followed you through thick and thin. I'm ready to show you and commit, make me one of your disciples. Oh, there's a disciple? Please, leader, I'm your most loyal of followers. We're in the ritual of discipleship. What's this? Uh, where? I don't think I have that unless this just unlocked. All your most loyal followers, the disciples, does we're gonna help manage dissenters and more. Ooh. Very interesting. Huh, new mechanic. Promethean, I think, made himself sick with his own food, if I'm following the plot correctly here. Poor Promethean, he poisoned himself. Alright, so we need a ton of bones. So before we go any further, let's improve the janitor house so they can take care of themselves and then we'll move on. Perfect. 
Aesop Bub just died while I was rolling around. Rip Aesop Bub. Don't mind me, just killing him in front of everybody. Kind of tempted to murder Rimo Battery 3, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like. This, see, this is where I need to. When we unlock future actions, I'm definitely unlocking murder. Oh, come on. Why is everybody getting sick suddenly? Am I getting the 5% unlucky? Is that what's happening? Or are they seeing something that's making them sick? Either way, kind of unfortunate. Hmm. I'm gonna bully witness Astaroth because he knows what he did. And then we can give him a uh, necklace. There we go, from one of the other murdered followers. You know, as you do. Now all we need to do is go in the next dungeon, get a few more bones, get a disciple, and then actually before I do that, let's bring somebody with us. We've been avoiding demons for a while. Show us missile. Who can we have go with us? Alina's not bad. I'm looking for high level characters. Can I sort by level? It starts with more hearts. That's not useful. Um, get Wepper to go with us. Hmm. I wish I could default it to level. Most of our higher level characters looks like they've... Wait. Oh, they can't do it because they're sick. So all my high level characters are sick, so I can't do it. Okay, that's annoying. Um... We'll have Draculina go with us then. And yeah, we'll just bring two with us, since apparently most of our cult is sick and or old age, and I can't do anything with them. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we barely have any living cultists, according to that list. We're down to like eight working. Everybody else is old age, a poet, or dead. We need a lot more bones soon. Got four cards, curse damage, reveal map, poison, and extra health. That's not bad. I could choose to skip rooms now if I want to. Oh, that was just, that was just rude. Beach hazards. More spider silk. We really just need to get more. All right, what terrible thing is about to happen to us? You thought of what awaits you once your task is completed. What is to become of you? The lamb is, after all, the sacrificial beast. Bread the slaughter. I cannot stop you, and I can at least prepare you for the suffering to come. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith. Our brother, the one who waits. Back then he was known by the name Narinder. Oh no. Remote, remote, remote Battery says, Leader, I'm sorry. Oh no, we're killing Remote Battery. And the worm. No, we're killing Cookie Monster. Wow, brutal. Remote Battery 3 scared because Remote Battery 1 died. Damn. It's a travesty, yeah. Uh, we have like barely any living cultists. We got really unlucky with the zombie deaths, and then. We had multiple characters killed through Dissension. We still haven't found Poro. Poro should appear at some point, question mark. I'm surprised we haven't seen him yet because we've gone through multiple dungeons at this point.
Yeah, so it's like we're just kind of missing characters. Hopefully we can fix it. And then a lot of our characters that would have been useful got babied. <laughs> it's just kind of like we're we're down in usable cultists. I think we literally have like eight living cultists that can actually do anything that are just old and enfeebled at this point. And we definitely need to get to the post game where we potentially can get more necklaces that essentially uh, extend the lifespan of our followers. So that way we can have more overall cultists living at once. Currently, we have one of those necklaces. I think it was uh, on Chris currently. That's why, for example, Chris hasn't died in forever. Shumi says, what are you looking at? Hmm. That's right. You crown bearers are all the same. Nothing without your adoring followers. Rateau wasn't like that. He stayed true to who he was. You'll never live up to him. Shroom, 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 chat. Get out of my way. I've got knuckle bones to play and money to win. Come and play me if you want a real challenge. Okay, we'll defeat him at some point. We might have to buy more beet seeds so that Chris's quest doesn't fail. Although I think Chris's quest did fail. I don't see it on the list anymore. Which is unfortunate. We were like one third of the way there. It's just unfortunate that he wanted something that we didn't have. Um, There's produce up here. Coins in front of us. I think the right call is to go for the produce into the produce to try to get what we need. There should just be money. The chef's deciding my fate. So I can use that to buy additional seeds if I need to. Hopefully we could get some new items here. Oh, that's not what I want. I mean, cotton's useful, I guess, for the outfits. I guess that's why they added the plant, just specifically so they have something for the tailor. We should probably go this way. Yeah, we'll do Knucklebone at the end. Keep the tarot card from Twitch chat. Interesting. Oh, double fervor? Okay, that's pretty good. Normally we have a restriction that we can only have four cards, but chat's allowed to cheat past that restriction apparently. Yeah, our spell right now is pretty terrible. We have, I think, the second worst one in the game. So I'd really appreciate if the game would give us literally anything other than Ikor Shot. Because it would all be an upgrade for us. It could be Sword Slice, Homing Missile, which we haven't seen in forever. Uh, obviously, Invincibility is always nice. You can see, like, even charging it up, it just doesn't really do that much damage, sadly. Giant Skull Acquire. Kind of an interesting look. At this point, the coal is mostly self-sufficient. So it's easier to do longer runs now that they're able to clean up after themselves. They have more resting areas. I can improve their outhouses, I think, is the last major thing I want to do. But they basically should have enough food to do whatever. I am really dying for an upgrade. We have gone many rooms and not seen one. I'm kind of hoping we see it. I see that there's some kind of thing above me. According to the minimap, so we're going to check that out. Thank you for the good luck, Imperameter. Come on, game. Really need stronger items. The demon is definitely saving us some damage. Our damage is kind of mediocre at the moment. My cigar is no longer sick. Okay, that's good. We have one more person tending to the cult now. Rick was also Star of Destiny, indeed. One game. Give us an upgrade. I mean, at least we can reapply poison, but we're kind of also at the point in the game where poison doesn't really do that much. Doesn't really matter. Please give me a weapon. Uh, well, we got one of the worst spells and an okay weapon. I guess we'll, we'll switch to axe now. So it went from like a 2.5 sword to 5.1, so that's a huge difference. 
another decoration. We actually managed to get a lot of Silk Cradle due to finding these bonus rooms. But sadly, Chad, we still have a very, very, very terrible spell. Despite Chad giving me double fervor. We're gonna get one more opportunity to upgrade it, I think. I got clipped by the hazard. Alright, good. Remote battery died of old age? Oh no. We're losing people left and right, chat. Why does it take three spells to kill? We're at max upgrade as a reminder, chat. That is just not good enough. I'm sorry. It likes giving us the hair that gives guaranteed damage based off of tarot cards. Which at this point is actually pretty good. Bonus health we'll take, I guess. Really, really hope we get a better spell, or I could be in trouble here. There's some beetroot, finally. If we've not failed the other objective, I'm gonna make the vegetables on the way back. Come on, game. Be kind. We are a little injured. We have a map, in case I need to go straight to the boss. Nice, got healed, so I just have bonus health at the moment. Don't like all the projectiles over there. We have seriously unlocked so many, so many decorations at this point, chat. Holy, we're almost at the cap, and we're not even at the final dungeon for this area. But once we beat the other bishop, we might as well just go beat the game. The other thing I'm not sure about is if it's worth seeing the other ending. I always forget. I think we choose usually not to. I don't know if that gives us anything in particular. I might look it up before we do that. Or we might just hold it off for another session. Beat the game. Technically a different session. I'll think about it. day is about to pass. Our health totals looking pretty good. I know they should be fine food-wise for a while because I prepped a lot of meals for them. side we have a lot of bones for revive so all we really need are just some ritual resets we should be good so we could bring back another character Let's see if there's any dead chat characters first I feel at this point a lot of time has passed Good damage there Not that. please give us a new spell no! The only one I don't want! Chat, come on! This is this is actually the worst spell in the game. Come on. Oh, godly hammer? Okay. I can forgive you. Just come on. Chat, there are like 14 spell types. We have the second worst. That is actually the worst. Unironically. We had like a what? What what in third or, yeah, basically one in fourteen chance of getting something worse. So sad, chat. Oh wow, this boss got actually dunked on. Thank you, Godly Hammer. You're the best, Godly Hammer. You never betrayed me. Man, we didn't even have Golden Fleece on. He would have been dead in less hits. Uh, I'm gonna take a follower form. I think that's a bear, maybe? I always get confused. Some of the animal designs are like a little bit of a question mark. It's nice to get, I suppose. I'm 
Okay, so... We should be able to get to the final area now. We have enough bones to revive. We have enough to do the vegetable meal if we haven't failed the other quest. That also means we have a lot of seeds for us in the future, too. I will decide my fate here in a moment. Multiple dead characters at the moment. Find inspiration. I guess I'll get the Grand Shelter next. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's get the hatchery. Eventually, I'll do mating, but right now I don't really need it. We'll focus on that in the post game. Cowboy's generated sin. Oh no. Cowboy looking a little weird there. Hmm. Maybe Steve's still doing whatever he wants. See, he basically caught up to some of our lower end characters, which is kind of nice. Oh, Kirk is dissenting. No. Let's give you a gift. There we go. Drak and Lena get a little upgrade there. And we'll inst actually we'll bribe. And we get them to level five because they were useful. Them getting more damage is never a downside in the future. Come to sleep. Okay, you go to sleep. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know if we lost the thing that they do with Chris. It didn't. It might have bumped it out, I don't know. Maybe that's why the faith is so low, because I failed Chris's quest. Not sure. On the plus side, though, we're going to be making a ton of beef feed in the future. And pumpkin is still being created pretty frequently. Why is everybody becoming gravely ill? Stop this! What is happening over here that they're all just getting sick constantly? So annoying. We lost like half the chat to illness. Uh, I'm gonna have to mushroom them or something. This is getting out of control. So we're gonna bring somebody back and then we're gonna mushroom chat. Yeah, I guess we'll try to make Kirk a disciple afterwards. What battery's dead? Is there any other? Uh, Hellcleave died. Oh, that's right. We did lose Wolfang to murder. I did say that if somebody dies to murder, we bring them back. Let's bring in Wolfang. We'll get Hellcleave next time, I think. I love our faith is like in the negatives right now. And sadly, we didn't build a lot of meter off of that. But what we can do... Mushroom everybody. So fortunately, Faith should be at least a pretty easy thing for us to fix. So I could do this like five or six more times without any issues. But so Faith should not be a problem for us for the rest of the game. Thanks to Substances Encouraged. We still have 248 mushrooms left over, it's very silly. Hmm. So I'm assuming we failed Chris's quest because I don't see the prompt for it at all. Fortunately. I'm gonna collect the wood here to free up the spot. And just let these things reset. We have more than enough wood to do whatever we need. I guess I can still see if I can make Kirk a disciple, despite him being converted. I guess we should probably see how that works. Let's go ahead and make 10 gold bars, because we need to make a lot of these. A couple more of these. A couple of these. These. Mostly some of these. 
We're giving them a lot of potential tasks to do. I can't do it because he's insurrecting. Wow, that really sucks. So I can't do it because he's disobedient. How annoying, chat. Oh well, let's level up Weber, I guess. Again, this has been pushing our characters a little further to level 10. I don't need to use it too often, but it's kind of nice. This character to go to sleep. Hmm. Damn, because he would have been really useful to deal with dissenting, but uh, he played himself there, I think. Fertilizer in there, more seed. Hmm. Yeah, I think three farmers has been really good for us over there with the totems. We've been listing a lot less food. Sure, we'll put Horaris on our call. I'm assuming nobody needs to come in. So we'll randomize them a little. Oh, not a spy. <laughs> Alright, Chad, there we go. Randomize their form a little. Sure, why not? Not a spy. That's how we can tell the good from the bad, chat. I guess I can try to make the meal. I guess it's not a bad idea. If nothing else, it's just free loyalty. I don't view that as a waste. A lot of good chances here. Use up some of our fish meals, some of our meat meals. Good. Now if they need to make it, they should be good. Now the question is, how many beds do I have? I have 26 beds for 18 people. Okay, I feel like I've been doing pretty well then in that regard, surprisingly, somehow. Also, how have some of these normal beds not been destroyed? Yet yeah, we've had like repeats of the others. Cat is so destructive. So now that they're able to clean the outhouse, it's not been as bad. Nice. Um. Actually, why would it? I guess I could get that out of here. We'll need two more, I think. It seems at least when they worship at the totem, they slowly level, which is also kind of nice. I want to see if I can upgrade before I touch anything else. At least they seem to be doing the fertilizer stuff pretty well. The only other thing I can think of is if I want to upgrade this. Oh, I, I just don't have enough gold bars. Man, chat, we, we just need more people consecrating. I'm gonna need to tell them to just consecrate at this point. Since we just don't have enough characters to do what we need to do. so many tasks now. Unless, oh, unless these characters are about to consecrate, in which case this is good enough. Oh, I got a gold bar. That's actually... Alright, let's let a day pass, and then I'm gonna go to the next dungeon. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here. Yeah, we don't have enough stones. 
We almost capped on the doctrines at least. Hmm. Ango is not long for this world, sadly. Okay. Hmm. I guess I could do knuckle bone briefly just to get that out of the way. By the time I walk back from there, it should be done. Yeah, I think the combination of events where I just took too long on the follower request. I wish it showed the timer and the prompts on the side so I could see like how many days are left because it does do that for some of them. But others it doesn't, sadly. Hello, Lambie. How's it going? You know, seen your followers around. Got some nice new clothes. Oh, what's that, Bop? Who's Barrett? Your brother? We should go say hi. Shoo -shoo. Hmm. Shoo. It's you. Finally decide to join the big league, so the crow now has more of a lead in, at least. <laughs> Yeah. Because I think that's what tanked the fate. Like, people dying definitely affects it to a degree, but... Yeah. Let's just take away his dice. That's fine. I'm looking to close out this game. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm looking to close out this game before he deletes all of our dice. He can keep his twos. I don't care about them very much. Put a six over here for now. Why'd he put a three there? What? Why did he do that? I'll let him keep his twos. I don't think this really matters to me at the moment. As long as he never... Oh, well, he just made a big mistake. He just let me keep my sixes. In which case, I'll delete his twos. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> he let me keep the far right column. There's basically no comeback from that once you let that happen. Wow, he is so far behind in the scoreboard. It's just getting embarrassing for him, really. If I rolled a three there, that would be amazing. Please let me roll the three. Aw, stop stalling. There we go. No points for you. Okay, yeah, you can double your fives. I don't care. It's already over. Oh, and I can't get rid of his fives? Damn, that's brutal. Imagine being at less than double digit score in this game. Okay, so he said take this. Rematch, or are you afraid? He gave us... Fervor will slowly replenish over time. That one's actually pretty useful for the other runs. If we do the Curses deal double damage route, that one's actually pretty fun. And we got another thing. Play Knuckle Bones with followers. If you win, they gain loyalty. If you lose, they gain nothing. Oh. That's new. So I could just... I could just fight you guys. I could fight your characters and Knuckle Bones? That's new. Hmm. Interesting. So it does seem like they fleshed it out a little more in terms of, like, things that unlock. That way the post-game isn't just, like, immediately all things are done. We're definitely not there. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll build it. Yeah, I want to fix Kirk's character if we can. We have another character reach old age. That kind of sucks. And one more re-education might fix Kirk. 
Expert tool will not require any resources. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. In which case, what ritual do I want to use? Hmm. Good sacrifice, but I don't really need to. Um. Maybe just get a free toil. We don't have many alive characters, honestly, at this point. Might as well just force them to work all day and night. To make sure that I get enough food for them. Now, with our remaining bones, we just choose to get some money. Though sadly, we don't have a lot of characters to take from here. So at this point, this is just for the Midas mini quest. That should be a level up. The question is, what do I want to get? Do I want to get Sword Mastery? Probably. That way, if I'm forced to use Heavy Attack, it at least does more damage. A little bit of points for next time. A little bit of extra faith across the board. We got 138 coins. Not too bad. Hopefully, just collect these gold bars. And now we could go see Midas. And then that quest is out of the way. Steve is still a baby for some reason, so I guess we'll just... Give him another hug to level him up. So he is now caught up to more than like 60% of the cult. And is not basically aged at all due to how that has worked. And I can make a better bed for them. We still have a ton of beds. Let's go deal with that and I guess we'll do the final area. Most generous. I would have taken half that amount. You really don't know how to negotiate, do you? The well is at your disposal. Make much use of it as you will. May fortune be kind. One second, chat. Doing a time check. Okay. So we don't have a lot of raw gold yet. If we were playing before the big nerf, we probably would have been sitting on 2,000 plus coins. Although, to be fair, we have probably spent about 1,000 in upgrades. Actually, that reminds me, we haven't visited Sozo in a while. I don't really want to go back to the other captain until we have all the witnesses. But I think there might be something we can do with Sozo now. You did it, didn't you? You tasted the power of the mushrooms. Yes, you are just like Sozo. Sozo knows you are a friend. Here, you must take this. A sign of friendship between two lovers of the Menticide Mushroom. Keep it safe. No one! No one! There we go. I had a feeling we just had to go back and talk to him. So now his other side quest stuff should advance. I wish to give you something else. Something to symbolize your undying adoration for the men to side mushrooms and their limitless potential. Oops, I think the text is overlapping itself. Decorative sculpture to celebrate fungus, acquired mushroom sculpture, seeking so so bold mushroom sculpture. There we go. That's a lot of mushrooms and gold bars. Does he want us to build it? Oh, no need to thank Sozo. We'll get your cult and come back to you. Sozo will grant you one last gift. Sozo is always fair. Always repays his debts. Now like those liars out there. Alright, so we have one last thing we need to do with Sozo. Which we might be able to complete before the end of the game. Again, I mostly just need gold bars. As you can see, basically everything needs gold bars from us. Which is kind of brutal. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna just make sure every single one of these has gold bars it could be working on. I'm gonna bully Witness Astaroth. Level him up a little more. I made him terrified. Hmm. I guess we'll take a demon. Flies away, returns with red hearts. Down reduce. I really wish it would just default to level. It's the only one I care about. Ooh, we could bring a parameter with us finally. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure we use the confessional. Try to get in parameter as leveled as possible. I would like to have backup level 10 characters. But at some point, we need to make sure Chris levels. Oh, and Parameter actually doesn't have a amulet. Oops. Oh, we did that already. Let's make sure he never sleeps then. Take advantage of his devotion level. Bribe him. Now I just need to find Chris's character, wherever he is. Unless Chris got sick or something. There he is. He's another character that's like on the cusp of leveling to something important. Let's give him a gift. Stick. So he's another cultist that's now level 7. That's huge. And we got a Doctrine out of Chris. That's even better. Poor Dango. Guess I could try to intimidate him. Spook Dango real quick. Hmm. Rob JJ Persona. Get two gold bars from the offering table? Wow, that's actually huge. It's gonna save me a ton of time. Can I build the sculpture yet, is the question. Giving the game some time. I need so many gold bars. Clean this up while I'm waiting. No, we just don't have enough people working it, sadly. I have to come back to this. Okay. Reassure, since they're a coward. Get him some meter. I guess I could do a different build up faith of the remaining people. Let's level up. Hmm. Do I want to level up? Oh, propaganda speakers is a good one to have. Because I could put that near the farm and we could get more out of it. That's a huge unlock. I forgot about that item. I could put it, like, literally in the middle. Like that. Because they have to crisscross through there all the time. I potentially wanted is like if, if technically I could kind of put it in a way that I can have them working on it and also praying because they tend to pray up here and technically make them cook faster or clean up sickness faster I guess I could put it here for now okay so before we go to the final dungeon and fight the next boss doctrine time this will improve the faith of the followers. And we've now technically unlocked all the base game abilities. Yeah, I don't really care about Tax Enforcer. I'd rather have Loyalty Enforcer. Just because I have characters that just need to get leveled up. And then I'll probably make Chris have it, because he's the only character with extended life, so I don't need to reassign him. 
just got multiple level ups there, which might matter for demons. Let's assign Chris that duty. I would have probably given it to Kirk if he wasn't going berserk, but I think it's either going to be Chris or in Parameter. We'll give it to Chris. Welcome back, Chris. You've become the loyalty enforcer. There we go. Yeah, I prefer to give it to a character. I guess I could have also given it to Imperimeter. We might swap who has it over time. I'm not too picky. Uh, anything else I need to do for their food before I go further? Still have quite a few meals left. Should be good. Apparently you're everything. Oh, Rip Dango. Don't mind me, just harvesting Dango. Can we revive Dango now that he died? We also need to revive Hellcleave. Still on cooldown for everything. See, this is why we need to potentially something that gets rid of it. Just to force loyalty with violence, that's true. Alright, so we have that out of the way. I can't do the thing the game wants me to do because it targeted the only character that would prevent me from winning. Oh. Demons, I think demons. It's almost very silly. I can apparently just... Oh, does this instantly level somebody if I do this? Wait, so I do this with Chris. I could just knuckle bones literally, Chris? I'm assuming I'm not fighting him here. Oh, there we go. I'm fighting Chris to the death, apparently. Yeah, I'm Chris high rolling on me. So it's a new way I could potentially fight chat with Knuckle Bones. I'm not liking our roll so far. If he rolls a 4, I'm in big trouble. I am really not liking our rolls. We really need a 2 at some point if I want to make a comeback here. What is happening? I'm going to take triple 3s. Triple 3 almost makes up for this. Game, come on. I mean, we're, we're barely ahead in points, but we could do way better than this. Um, I think I just get rid of this. Although, this, if he gets a 5, I'm in trouble. What is happening? Why can't I roll well? What is happening? Am I going to lose to Chris? Seriously. Okay, we, bar we barely tied. Holy... I didn't get a single dice that would beat his. That's crazy. <laughs> I eliminated one dice that whole time. There we go. And that'll level up Chris, which is what I'm looking to have happen. I know, it was like 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 and... Wait, can I just challenge everybody to it? Wait, Knuckle Bones is broken in this game. Wait a minute. I just have to Knuckle Bone them and they level up? Wait a minute. Maybe I performed the Disciple Ritual on Imperimeter at some point. Yeah, take that Imperimeter. Get rid of your two. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. This is actually crazy stupid broken. Oh, you put a three there? What a fool. What a fool. I'm getting rid of your four. That's what you get. Age of baby, baby meta is over. Unless he doesn't put a six there, I'm good. Yeah, like, that wasn't good for him. He's behind in points now. I take my two. I don't really care about that. I'm gonna leave my last dice open in case he rolls pairs, but right now I'm feeling pretty good. I would, you know what? We'll roll double four there. No, I don't think he can win unless he doubles a three here, which at this rate looks like it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's over. He has to roll a three or a five. Nope, it's over. Just to stall a turn. So this seems like a really easy way to level chat. So this is just better confession. Like, look how fast that is. Does anything stop me from just reversing the characters? Or maybe it's just once a day. I guess that's how they tried to balance it. I guess I'll fight JJ Persona just to level him. 
I mean, there's no reason for me to not do this a couple of times. It's like confessional, but I can just apply it to every character. It takes a little longer since I have to play a game. Obviously, I don't want to do this like forever, but for the purpose of leveling them, there's no reason for me to not give it a shot. Also, I am rolling so poorly. Please help me. <laughs> All right, chat. This is actually unfair how bad my rolls have been. Holy, come on, give me something. Game, please. This is like abysmal chat. Wow. Chat, you can't make this up. <laughs> it's just, I can't I can't get my dice on the board. It's so sad. Please don't roll another five. Thank you. Okay, I have an honest chance at winning. Okay, that's fine. Roll another five, please. If we roll another five, it's ultra over. Nope, we're just gonna roll twos for all eternity. <laughs> just, oh, come on. Game, game please. <laughs> just, just let me keep a dice. Begging you. Please don't make me lose. Okay, there we go. I win. GG, it's over. That was painful. I think he eliminated like eight or nine dice from me. There we go. So this is actually kind of important because I only have a couple doctrines left to unlock. Oh, it's on cooldown. Okay, so it's not like infinite infinite, but it is effectively infinite simultaneously. Okay, I'm going to wait one more game day since we did take a while to do that. Is there any other ritual that's off cooldown, like revive? It's so close. All right, I'm going to wait for the next game day just because I want to revive and then we'll we'll move on. Hello, witness Astarte. Or Astaroth, excuse me. Oh, they just gave us a lot of resources. I might put more offering shrines up, because honestly, those things have just been random value. They paid for the, the it paid for itself already. Yeah, and they're not very expensive either. Um put it here. I basically have gotten like five or six gold bars from it, which has definitely paid off from it. And then also randomly getting food stuff is nice. That's like speak to not a spy. Oops. That is quite something. Right. <laughs> gonna say if we can level up these characters that's good for me okay let's go see if there's anything else around here uh there is quite a pile over here good call Promethean oh it costs a bar to fuel it hmm forgot about that. Uh, we still... Okay, we don't have enough gold to do that. But I'm now back up to 15 bars, which is not bad. Now we mostly... To, ooh, we're getting low on meals. Hmm. We are running out of seeds, because I haven't done adventures lately. Hmm. Kind of a problem. We're definitely going to have to go Dungeoneering after this. I'm hoping we can get Kirk out of there and then get the Disciple thing. But it looks like that may or may not happen. We did lose some time looking after the cult, but that's to be expected. Yeah, I figure because they're going to be working here for so long, it just makes sense to... Uh, Put the thing over here. We're here, it's like I might get some value from the food. Or I can move the consecration stuff over a little more. But for now, I don't need to fuel it if it costs money, which it does. 
But since we're desperate for food, it kind of makes sense to go for it. here one we do this so we could see what the ritual thing is please please cure him really he didn't get cured on that that was not worth so sad chat one day i just wanted to see what it was before we beat the game but apparently we're not gonna see it promethean broke him out of prison promethean what a troublemaker Back to jail. But sadly, I also don't gain faith due to this. Speaking of which, where did Steve go? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna say, he's finally an adult. Steve did it. Oh, he came with his own little outfit. Look at that. Good job, Steve. <laughs> you grew back into your outfit. And we can give him... Probably a feather necklace for faster movement. My defense, you look for for him. Truth. I think everybody does have a necklace. I think I've actually been pretty good at collecting them in the adventures. Most of our characters should have them already. Only like literally one or two that don't have it at this point. So the fertilizer thing, I think it's been working out extremely well. That was kind of a, a tedious task to take care of. And now that we've done that, can we bring on our adventure? Level... Bring Chris if I want to, but I want him to loyalty up people. Let's bring in... Wait, where's Imperimeter? Did he get old or something? Wait. Or did I make him a demon already? I didn't see him when I went through that list. Oh, he got old right before I could use him. Man. Old age sucks in this game, chat. I do wish they aged a little slower. Doesn't feel like I get a lot of opportunities in the base game for it. Though I lost out on, like, a super upgrade, which really sucks. Um, Collect fur. I really want that as an ability. Echolina's bomb, I think, is okay. Don't really want to bring Chris just because he has an important role here. I know. I just get. I'm just getting ultra trolled. I had like the perfect boss character, like a level ten. Orcus would have been amazing. We just kind of have all these kind of half baked characters. But unfortunate. Need to do more knuckle bones with them or something. Sure, we'll have JJ Persona go with us for fervor gain. And for the future, level up Chris's character, I think, again. Because I was looking to make him potentially a disciple, as well as the rest of the Twitch chat that frequents here. The parameter literally aged right when he was about to be used. That sucks. Oh well, I tried. So close, yet so far. Actually, speaking of which, I didn't revive anybody yet. Oh, well, Chet's voting for my fate, apparently. I'm gonna say, I think I can get away with a revive here. Right, let's do that right now. Because we are, we are sorely lacking living cultists at this point. So we need probably probably bring it back dango actually you know what hellcleave's been a while, dead for a while let's get hellcleave first <laughs> then we'll go get uh our other twitch chat members maybe i'll even get a mini upgrade here
Hmm. All followers gain loyalty. Um. I guess we can ascend somebody that's gonna die anyway. I guess I'll send a parameter. And just bring it back later. Because getting loyalty up on everybody else is kind of huge. There we go. And Parameter doesn't die a horrible death. And that levels a lot of people in the cult. And we got another Doctrine out of that. That was worth it. And that'll further level them. Now we're just in the bonus content. Sin of Pride or Gluttony. Choose a follower to take on the Sin of others. Generate Sin. Gluttony of Cannibals. Followers feast upon a chosen follower. Generate full Sin but lose faith. Uh... I probably don't want Twitch chat to literally eat themselves. <laughs> probably be, it'd probably be for the best to not cannibalize people. Uh, I don't really like either of these, to be honest, but we'll do this one, I guess. Having one character take on the Sin is useful, just to enforce that it goes on one character. Is there anything I could do for more faith? Oh, I'm out of bones. The answer is no. Oh, Cleave gained Catatonic. What? I spook Steve. That'll level Steve to level 6, which already puts him ahead of most of the chat. Where's Hellcleave at? Can we read his mind as to what it is? Oh, I can? Why can't- why can't I read his mind? Yeah, we still haven't found Poro. We've done many adventures. They're not enough- Oh, chat destroyed all my beds? Oh. That sucks. Well... It's time to start rebuilding. And I'm out of money. Wow, chat hit me at the worst possible time with that, I think. That is so brutal. I don't have any money. Oh, we got- we barely- oh, we got lucky with the offering there. Uh, because I converted it all the gold coins. Hmm. Rather killed somebody? Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. Because now they're just going to be pissy with me. Because I, I, they don't have enough beds. So this, as long as it doesn't take money to repair, maybe this isn't totally terrible. It just means I lose a lot of wood. Okay, okay, it doesn't seem to take cash. That's important. I just can't upgrade them. Fair. There we go. Now we should have enough beds. Hmm. I can't believe we couldn't re-educate Kirk. That was so brutal. Hmm. I'm gonna get all of these. I have a ton of gold bars for the future. So with that, we should be able to go forward. So sadly, next time we come back, we should finally be able to see what a Disciple does. But we need bones. We're going to go fight this thing, and then we're going to... I guess we could choose to beat the game? I don't remember if there's a downside to... taking the knee to the demon. Receive 5 fervor when hit, replenish fervor over time. Okay, so this is a very curse-centric build. Just fair. Five becomes... becomes... nothing. Nothing at all. The duty I owe to my brethren cannot be shirked. My temple awaits. Okay. 
please give us a good weapon. Max is good. Oh, is that invincibility? Ooh, nice. Those are good pickups. So now we have automatically recharging invincibility. And if I get hit, I build fervor. That seems kind of unfair. My chat, like, wait a minute. I think we can agree that's kind of unfair on so many levels. I think we just have the ultimate combo right now, to be honest with you. And also, whenever fervor is generated, we pick up more thanks to our follower. So we basically have near constant invincibility. No, the stupid animation cancel doesn't work. I need to remember I need to tumble. It's weird doing. It's weird that spells don't cancel your attacks when you press them. I need to just teach myself that. In like any other game, that would have been a real cancel, <laughs> but in this game, it's not. I have to attack, roll, and then. No, there's not really a way to cancel the roll into a spell either. Hmm. What do I need to do? I guess I shouldn't dodge roll at all. I just need to attack. Do this repeatedly. To avoid accidentally dying to nonsense. That's fine. I took damage before the stage. I mostly just need to be invincible during the boss fight. This is good practice. I can land a three hit combo pretty consistently. And then I just need to wait it out. And again, if I'm waiting for... The enemies to do something. I should just automatically regenerate fervor as I mentioned earlier. All we really need now is a relic for more damage. This help with our burst potential and that's basically it. So we can't find any more cards. It's just down to finding new, new weapons or new ways to get fervor. Yeah our current spell is insanely good. Okay. So we got a relic, but it's fragile, so we can only use it once. Hmm. Kinda hoping for something a little more long term. Oh, I took damage on the stupid stage hazards get me every time, chat. I think the problem is because they start not they spawn in without doing any damage, so I'm like, I'm thinking I'm gonna roll to hit an enemy, and then I'm like, oh, it, it it's a hazard and not just decoration, <laughs> in that order. My brain does not recognize those as hazards, because they're not loaded in as damage. It's kind of like if you're playing Mario Brothers and the fire bar just doesn't start spawn right away. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's safe here. No, no, it was not safe. You know what? I think I need to get a better relic. I'm gonna see if I can get one here. It really likes giving us the Clinux hair, I've noticed. Maybe that's a side effect of using the fleece, is that you always get it. This is like the third time we've received it. We got extra meat in case we need some desperation meals. Um, guess I'll make our way towards the mystery event. I have an okay amount of bone. Yeah, because this should basically be a room wipe. And then we just need to occasionally use our fervor. We should be good. So we have a way of basically full screen clearing annoying amounts of enemies while still dealing damage to the boss. So we have a pretty good relic. If we happen to get a Twitch chat gives more cards, that's the only way we can prove. Not mandatory. We sadly didn't get any like uh, weapon damage ups, but we did get the fervor generator. So if I do take damage, then I will become invincible. Funny how that works, I guess. Yeah, you can see the power of it. It just full clears the room. And so, so we know destroying objects rebuilds the relic. I'm feeling too worried here. I think we're coming into a treasure room. 
looking at this correctly. No? What is this? Sacrifice health? Sure. I think a red heart was sacrifice. Dot dot dot. Deceased heart received in return. Mm. Really care about that, but we'll take that, I guess. The chat's deciding my fate. Oh no. Alright, so we have enough bones for another revive ritual. And be not. You may yet kill me. So I will not trade places. Time to draw this ugly business to a close. He waits at the point of a sharpened blade. A fate that cannot be outrun. He waits in the eye of the raging storm. At the end of the long day done. Okay. Oh no, I picked up a relic by accident. Uh, what does this even do? I have no idea what- Oh no, we lost our good relic. Ooh, it made me tiny. Oh. That is un- Shit. Rip. Rip our damage relic. Um... Well, I don't think the hit list is going to happen now. So I don't know how we're going to deal with, like, a large number of enemies. Do I never grow bigger again? This tiny me is also really terrible, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I hope I grow back at some point. Everybody's getting diseased for some reason. gonna get healed at least. <laughs> Except nothing only hindered. And it was fragile, yeah. It was like, man, we lost a really good damage relic. That sucks. Do we get something else at least? Done. It... Oh, it is four bullets. Maybe that's good enough. Yeah, let's try the gun. Gun with four bullets might be fine. If it was only three bullets, I would have been on the fence. But we did get a gun upgrade recently. Environmental traps no longer cause damage. Oh my gosh, Shadow, I want that so bad. You have no idea. Let's listen to him. Launch says, peace be with you, Crusader. Take only the truth and light, but I may be a service to you. Increase the loyalty of any follower you choose. Um, Let's level somebody that's kind of in the middle. Oh. Prometheus actually on the lower end. Let's, let's improve Promethean. There we go. Oh. Happy. <laughs> Goodbye. My work is done. This fool would follow you to the deepest darkness from whence no one returns. Maybe that's from the gun mastery. I got another bullet. Let's see how it goes. But at least I now can perform hit and run pretty successfully if I need to. is how much more damage do I think I can take with this? I might just need the axe for now. The gun is nice. But I think I need the axe with the invincibility. If I didn't have the invincibility, I'd probably stick with the gun. Oh, that goes way further. Oh. My chat? Wait a minute. <laughs> My axe, axe got a big upgrade. Holy... If you remember earlier, Chad, it barely went anywhere. Alright, so we now have a long-range poke tool that does really good damage. I'll take this. Gold necklace? Oh, that's good. So we can extend the life of one of our followers. I'll probably try to make it Kurt. Or Parameter. Whoever is highest level, essentially, at this point. I love that I can force it to rotate towards me. 
Okay, we're getting some of our silk. We have one more silk, silk candle drop left. We actually did pretty good there. We're gonna get yet another set of upgrades. Lots of coins, chat. I guess I'm never growing bigger again. That my axe range is officially garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight with tiny form, which you think would be useful? I guess if it shrinks my hurt boss slightly, it might be good. But otherwise, it means I have to get ultra, ultra close to the boss. And I don't have good AoE swings anymore. Okay, we have a good amount of bones. If I could get a multiplier here, it'd be big. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Enemies actually died to the stage hazard. That's kind of funny. Our health total is insane. I'm definitely not worried about clear at this point. Okay, so final boss before the final bosses. So, I could, as long as I play it really safe, I should just have this without taking damage first try. We have a pretty good combo of things. We got a lot of extra bones, which is good. E of epic, E of light, she of hunger, they of might. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. So we want an invincibility in. We're gonna play it as safe as possible. We get fervor over time. I sadly don't have a damage relic to kill enemies to then regenerate the fervor, which would have made it basically guaranteed that I can't die. That's fine. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, I didn't have any more fervor. No, I didn't have enough fervor. Oh, come on. It didn't regenerate fast enough. That's so sad. So close to a flawless. I pressed it. I was at zero. So annoying, chat. I mean, it was like, it was definitely a one sided fight. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, man, that should have been the flawless. I'm pretty sure I took damage there. I'm pretty sure I had two disease hearts. If I only had one, then that's fine. But anyway, I mean, that's the power. Sadly, if we, we didn't have a godly weapon or any damage boost, if we also had picked up at any point a, a weapon damage up from the initial cards, that also would have killed in time. Because we got the boss down to like the last 15% health and then ran out of uh, gas with fervor. So sad. So that tells me if we get regen further, or regen fervor plus half fervor cost, I think every boss is guaranteed to die. Alright, I definitely want to rematch on those for flawless victories. We have all the tools we need now, for sure. Tomorrow was weak, not wise. Their vision was too small to contain the multitudes of one such as I. The time has come to free me. You shall have the honor of returning the Red Crown to its true bearer. I admit, you've worn it almost as well as I could have myself. You sacrificed two followers to strengthen the cult. To strengthen us. Your appetite for death is something I can admire, Vessel. But the crown is mine, and none, none are worthy. None other than I. You shall lay down your life and return to me what is mine. The millennia, all may bask in my glory once more. But it cannot be done here. The final gate awaits. Hurry now, the time is at hand. Right, so we have a last check to kind of upgrade our call.
Lamb, one slaughtered in the name of the captive god, ponder this. Whose name does thou slaughter in now? Well, obviously for Twitch chat. That's an easy, easy answer. So, yeah, so sadly, I took a little bit of damage right at the end. Because I, I pressed it thinking I had a fervor. So sad. It wasn't even like a combo cancel issue. I just didn't have it. Twitch chat's now deciding my fate. Yeah, we're just getting free resources here, so I basically paid for itself. I would like to get Kirk out of there at last. I swear, if we have somebody descent after all this, after this big issue of finally releasing him, like, we better keep him. Diego level, oh thank you chat. Diego level 7, not bad. to go to sleep. Tell Dr. Lena to go to sleep. Or not. Why can I not tell them to go to sleep? Oh, maybe I mismenued. Okay. Finally. We didn't pick up a single seed wall going out there, which is kind of bad because we were running low on seeds. We have like a million mushrooms. Eventually I could turn mushrooms into hard work, into money. <laughs> mm. Okay, so with all this in mind, our faith is unlocked. Let's get a revive going. Can we bring back... A few followers are in here. It's so sad. Bring a parameter back if I want to. Um, East is a East was a Twitch uh, chat viewer. Let's bring them back. There we go. Hey, why are they? Why did they come back as cursed? Is that just a new thing that can happen now? That's actually kind of horrible. I I don't like chat. I don't like that at all. Uh, that's really annoying. Well, time to drug chat out of their minds. Huh. I will say, from a standpoint of, uh, changes, I don't appreciate that one. Although I like how these characters form a star, more or less. In their formation. So I guess that's to punish you for constantly reviving. Were, were they mad at the meta of revives? Is that what they felt needed to be done? They needed to nerf it? I mean, I, I, I could not agree any less with that kind of mentality if they thought that was what should happen. So I just find that very annoying. Okay, we got new relics. Which, if I remember, they were pretty good. Mimics any curses cast. Was an enemy on contact, freeze on contact. That should be good. Yeah, that's not a good change. We'll probably mention that in our little wrap-up at some point. Okay, so now that we've done this... We finally move Kirk into the next thing. Yes, we can. Alright, so let's just... I'm assuming I can have more than one Disciple. Let's make a Kirk, then it'll probably be in Parameter, then Chris. And whoever is left. So we get a little halo. And what does that do exactly? He's gained the curse trait. Like reward from Kirk. No! Come on! Chad, I, I literally couldn't do anything. First Disciple, it means the world to me to be part of your inner circle to be closer to your glory. See, it seems silly to you, but for creatures like us, it's hard to find a place to call home. Before I came here, I was always scared. Friends or family, all I could do was hide. Then you found me, and now I couldn't be happier. I'll always be one of your loyal disciples. Oh, so we got another train of things unlocked. That was such bullshit. Chat, we are definitely complaining about this. Like, there is nothing fair about that. There is nothing I could have done. They literally spawned in and killed the follower. That is bullshit. Please remove this from the game. 
please remove this from the game. There's a terrible feature. <laughs> She's like, like I actually was having a lot of fun and that honestly pisses me off. Because it's like, I literally spent 75 bones to kill a follower, but it got no reward for it. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, don't do that. Like, don't do that. That's such a waste of time. I could have literally chosen not to do anything and it would have been better than using the ritual. So BS. I'm not happy about that at all. I will actually write them a complaint. <laughs> you can bet, chat. They're, go they're gonna get a, tw a Steam review on it. Please remove this, it's awful. What a dumb decision to put this in. Do not like at all, please revert. Yeah, like, I already think it's pretty unfair that curse can appear when you're, like, starting off the game and you don't have access to the healer's tent. I think that's really stupid to put that in the game before the character, or before players have the ability to deal with it. But then to, like, also just literally negate the entire point of it randomly. So stupid. Big misstep. Yeah, like, right, chat? Like, I just lost 75 bones. I didn't get a new follower. The character that was one of our most important characters in the cult just died. And they're the only character that has, like, near-death immunity. They just keep getting one-shot by, like, bullshit events like that. So unfair. Like, that's the whole point of... That's the whole point of selecting a character that lives twice as long, is that they don't die to stuff like this normally. And now this as now with the new update, we've had like eight character deaths due to this new update. So instead of having a cult of like 20 or like or like 25 by this point, we're like barely 16 because they keep dying to each other. Don't think that's a good idea. So annoying, chat. Is there like a doctrine that gets rid of this like forever? If there's something that gets rid of it forever, I would almost forgive them. Invite belief, we also invite sin. Choose a journey to the confessional booth instead of loyalty. It's appearing as a reward for mini bosses. I probably want this one. I can see when you're done with the di with the game, the confessional booth becoming a sin unlock makes sense. But I'm not in a rush for them. We'll be fighting more mini bosses, I think, than anything else. Yeah, so that it's like there I don't have anything that can like revive characters other than that ritual. And it basically just took the ritual on cooldown and got rid of one of my best characters. And several print is trying to give you boost while crusading. Okay. Um Know where to put this because it's a new structure. Um, probably want it somewhere in here. I just don't know where. Let's place it here for now, I guess. Good. I was gonna say, I'm forever gonna be annoyed by that chat. Like, seriously, that really, really hampers the game for me. I don't know what they were thinking. It's one thing if Twitch chat kills a character. It's like, whatever. Like, honestly, not all of them have to be good, and it's fine. I don't need them to, like, always be a benefit to the team, but, like, that, that was something Twitch chat didn't do. It just arbitrarily killed one of my characters. It's kind of like how Intimidate randomly calls, causes Coward now. I just don't think it's a good change. Like, there are better ways to improve loyalty or to make the other things more worthwhile, and I just don't think that's what you should do. And it's kind of stupid because, like, the game has not had that for any of the times we've played the game before. So it's not like I'm asking for, like, a core mechanic to change. They just arbitrarily added it in the patch to just make Intimidate worse for some reason. And things of that nature and i already don't think intimidate is like super great either i don't know what they were thinking um hmm. we are super low on food, which also kind of blows 
guess I'll try to make some of these. A grassy gruel for us. I should be able to loyalty up a couple people, which is nice. Wow, I'm actually gonna run out of grass. That's crazy. So we're we're not producing enough seeds that give food badly. Which is weird, because it's like it's not like I'm not farming things. But I guess I just keep getting a lot of non-food seeds that are being planted. We level Promethean, which is nice. Come on, let me talk to Focalora. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, like I would I would be more forgiving if we had the ability to like refund our our other ability, but it's like if they're at least going to curse, don't allow them to just instantly kill. Like, if it curses them and then you have, like, a day to cure them, that would be fair, right? Like, I don't I don't think I'd have a complaint about that. It's just that, like, when I literally leave the thing in which I revive and it instantly kills another character, that kind of stuff should just not be allowed under any circumstance. Just one of those things. Like, they really need to think it through a lot better. And think about the experience that other players have while playing it. Like, what what is the value added of doing this? Is what they should be asking themselves whenever they make a decision like that. And honestly, there's no value added. It's just there to piss off the player. <laughs> like, just honestly. Um... So, Golden Fleece is not super worth it on the boss fight. Fleece of Fates is actually really good for the final boss because you basically just go fight to fight to fight. Now the question is... I should just let a day pass. I just let a day pass. I could do something else while I'm waiting. So we have access to the final area if I want to. I want to see if I could get some bones. And then as soon as it's daylight, I just want to leave. I don't think it super matters where I go. So I could go back to Darkwood, for example. The old map, extra chest. That should be good. The other thing I want to be mindful of is I want to see if the reindoctrination works. Because I saw that there was something with the sin waiting for us. Oh, it's Poro finally here. The suffering you have caused me. It is unbearable. You did this to me. Oh, we finally found Poro. That took a while. Sorry, Poro. That took a long time to get the 4 -0. Yeah, speaking of things that were kind of unfair. Alright, so we have a little extra bone. That's like a ton. Anax is so good, chat. If you had any doubts, bear witness. Got a relic. Increase in size. Uh, see, that's good for Axe. Coral was a Twitch chat member that got exiled due to having too much sin. So he's been gone for like 12 game days or something insane. Oh, we tumble super slow in this form. Uh... Let's go to the outfit tier. But chest is dying by fate. Okay, so I don't want to teleport since Rich Chat is doing something. I can get another robe design because I've been getting gold bars. Let's see. Now give people grass skirts. Uh, let's go get food.
There's no reason for me to not at least pick this one up. I didn't see what Twitch chat voted for. I was kind of in between screens at the time. Yeah, so we got some food for the call. That wasn't too bad going here. Let's see if we can recruit Poro again. Oh, Poro's back. Wow, he is super unkillable. What the heck? What the heck is this? How many times have I got to beat Poro? Holy. Is see the final boss of this area? Maybe I shouldn't teleport out. Uh, wow. So I got... So now I'm getting really punished for a mechanic I didn't really get to play with. This feels kind of unfair. I'm not gonna lie. This feels kind of unfair. Oh, I think I beat the spirits out of him. Hopefully that means he's done. So that made me take damage. There's not really anything I could do about that. Um, I originally wasn't going to go much further, but... Oh, now you give me Hounds of Fate? Man, if we had that earlier chat. Ugh, so good. Better late than never, I guess. So, like, what's here? Is, is Poro here again, or...? Oh, Balefar is here. If you... Like, look how strong this is, chat. We've almost killed it with just purely curse. I took some damage at the end there. Whatever. We're so huge. It's oh, I could. Let's get Sin. Um, I'm gonna go back and just kill the boss again. We move so slow, chat. Holy, look at that. Our tumble goes really far. So I guess it's a nice way to do sin if I don't feel like interacting with the other mechanics. Look at the health of the boss chat. Did we talk about that? The boss actually just got dumpstered. Imagine if we had fervor us our half for our abilities, how broken we would be right now. Wow. Well, that was a flawless victory. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that was... That, we didn't even have any curse damage boosters. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I had the double damage or anything that improved curse? Like, that was just base curse. It just half health the boss. So dumb. The Hellhound is still strong. It's just not as broken as before. Definitely boss refights. It's insane. Oh, and then because we took no damage for the boss, we got the bonus. Nice. Well, I guess that's at least proof we no damage the boss. <laughs> just stomp that thing out of oblivion. Alright, can we finally revive people? Let's see what happens. Uh, Twitch chat has not given us more contributions there, sadly. Rifles return from other structures of the radius and positive here. Okay. It looks like we still have more things to learn in the middle here. I think. Oh, Poro's finally back. Please spare me. Alright, we're finally going to accept Poro back into our lives. Finally, Chad. This character has been gone for like 18 game days. Um, I'm gonna tell him to worship. Let's give him... I guess Skull Necklace, since he's a young character at this point. Bribe him so he levels. Ooh, didn't quite level. Let's give him a small gift then. 
There we go, finally. level Weber up again. Weber might be worth putting in as a disciple. I'm not sure if there's a limit to number of disciples, so I'm not like, rushing to put Weber in, but he's probably like one of the only characters that is not a Twitch, ca Twitch chat character I would consider, just because he is special in terms of stats. Oop, I got stuck on nothing. That was interesting. Poor Poet's Revenge. So with this, we can declare another doctrine. So we might have actually unlocked all the doctrines just now. We did. You reap in fidelity or shame. Born of sin, followers hatched in the cult will become born with some sin. Blind allegiance, followers hatched in the cult will be born with a high loyalty level. Um. Honestly, probably loyalty level. I'd rather just not want to worry about leveling these characters. Sin seems like I'll just eventually have no purpose for it. Whereas, like, if I need to regenerate new characters, it might be more useful to do that. The monster also deserves to get in. Okay, so with that, let's get the blessing, blessed version of relics. This is just a free upgrade on existing relics, so no reason to not take those. So it's literally just the better version of the relics we already have. So there's no reason to not do it. Yeah, summon two demons to assist is huge. Damage based on how many elderly followers you have. That's funny. There we go. Well, I would have had Chris raising everybody's loyalty, but the game has killed him. When do I get to revive again? Before I get trolled? Okay, I can wait a little bit for that then. Stupid. I swear, if Chris comes back with Cursed, I'm gonna lose my mind chat. <laughs> I will cuss this game out if Chris, if Chris comes back with Cursed. He, he better just come back the way he came, and then we will move on. I need the characters that actually have some bonuses. Oh, wait, so we brought back Hellcleave. We'll need to be spe- Seriously? Seriously, you're now punishing players for reviving their people? Oh, that is, that is stupid. Is there a way to turn that off? I'm like, honestly, hold on. <laughs> Just one moment, chat. Is there something in here that will turn this off? Because that is so stupid. No, I don't want to force weapon. Not in here. It's like... Yes, revive is really good. It's almost like it should be a default ritual. If you're complaining that people revive too much and it breaks the balance of the game, why don't you just undo that in the doctrine and always give players that option? Don't randomly nerf it and then make me have to hunt them down when they have some BS disease. Like, I can't even cure Hellcleave because I don't have crystals. This is so stupid. The Hellcleave has been in the cult but not doing anything. I couldn't mind read him earlier because I did try that, if you recall. Because I was like, what was catatonic? And then it just didn't show me any options. Oh, that is such a stupid decision. It's like, I understand if people want to play it on, like, survival mode, and that's fine, but that kind of stuff should be opt-in. I should not be forced to play with that kind of stuff, because I view that as, like, really tedious time wasters. Like, that's why there's, like, the, you know, you can, you can make it harder and add more survival elements. If you want to add that into your run, I'm not saying that's a problem. I'm just saying that should not be a default. It's such a dumb decision. Because honestly, it's like now I have to do more babysit runs. When I thought the whole point of all these updates was to stop it so you don't have to micromanage them. I thought that was the point of it. Like that's why they gave us the kitchen in one of the updates. 
that's why they've now given us the super fertilizer. This is why they've given us, you know, improved janitor stations so they can clean out their stuff. Like, the whole point is that you go hands-off. And now I have to be more hands-on due to RNG. So dumb. Big misstep. Disappointed chat. So, I don't even know when I can get those crystals. I don't really want to do another hunt. I was just going to go beat the game. But I guess I can try to get crystals, I guess. That way I don't have, like, a literally useless character. Because Hellcleave also is, if you remember, a useful demon. So it is locking me out of Orcus. See for everyone hit, that's fun. And it gave me my least favorite combo in the game. Cool. <laughs> right, Chan? It gave me Icker Throw Dagger. Cool. I I hate it. So weak. Holy, it just doesn't do any damage. <laughs> like, it's honestly a good point. I might just reset the run rather than actually do this run. Like, this is just such a bad combo. Bad cards, bad relic. Destroy all relics? Or destroy all tarot cards? No. You're out of your mind. Game, you're out of your mind. <laughs> I have no way of getting them back at all. It doesn't give me health. Absolute nonsense. I don't know, chat. Maybe we'll save beating the game for another day. I'm, I'm now not in the mood, honestly, to keep going. I'm so annoyed at the other stuff. Let's just get the, uh, the crystals out of the way. I was going to legitimately go beat the game. It only takes like another half hour, but I'm not in the mood now. At least the heavy attack of dagger is okay. Why we improve that? Yup. We we had pretty good RNG up until today. Today has been like super bad with some of the items. It's been giving me dagger so many times. <laughs> like I don't want dagger. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if there's a room that gives me items. If it doesn't give me items, I'm teleporting out. It's that simple. I don't want to do another combat room with daggers. I mean, at least the heavy attack of daggers is pretty good against big targets. So upgraded dagger is definitely from, like, borderline unusable to not bad. But unless I get, like, godly dagger or, like, crit daggers, I don't think daggers are worth it. I just think even, like, base hammer is better than dagger. Gun, I'm kind of not sure if I put it above sword or not. It definitely has weaknesses, which means it's not top tier. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if I have to go, oh, I won't use it in this scenario, it's too fair. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, we, like axe, axe and hammer are unfair. There are almost no opportunities or times. I will choose not to use them, because they're just clearly better. Sword is, like, about, slightly above average. Oops, I didn't mean to smack it. But everything else, hmm. Alright, so we now have the better version of the ability we got earlier. Received a weapon. I mean, it it is an improvement. <laughs> I'll give chat that. It's it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. We'll consider that progress. I could just go fight the boss now. Sure. If I don't have to actually go to the end, why not? There's no way we're getting the flawless with this setup. There's no way. This this weapon is just too inconsistent.
Oh, I took damage randomly. Cool. Pressure's off, I guess. Yeah, this boss is also pretty easy with just invulnerability ups. It's kind of a shame we never got it. Okay, I thought he was done, but he just swung another time. You gotta watch out for that other dagger. That's what hit me last time. Thank you, Twitch's first ability. Yeah, it's not great, but at least I can do long range damage. That's how I view it. Like, it could definitely be much worse. And we have a million things to potentially unlock an anchor deep. Yeah, we're gonna take a break, Tag, because that was just BS. Be real with you. We could technically go back and fight the witness and whatever, but I right know it doesn't matter. I just want to see if I could cure your help you. Hopefully this is enough. We also managed to get some seeds, which is important. Since we're also running low on food. But also, I guess in a way, as long as I can convert stuff into money, I could buy seeds if I'm really desperate. Immediately one here. Um, I'll just yeah, I'll just unlock these. This is fun. I see they just randomly play knuckle bones when bored. Is there anything else I want to do for setup? So hell cleave is legit useless until I cure him. There we go. The cult is a little less worse. We have a ton of gold, which is huge. Means I can make more gold bars. I mean... Make more gold there. Make more these. And now it's more of a question of... Can I make enough gold bars to do the Sozo quest for the end of this stream? Maybe we have enough now? seven more. I'm willing to hold out for Sozo's quest. But as I said before, I'm not in the mood to go beat the game now. I'm like, no. No, thank you. So that's a lot of things we just harvested. That's a good sign. Okay, we at least deposited a lot of food back. That's good. Regular fertilizer seems to be doing well here at least. Eventually, these will just turn into money. If you remember, chat, when we get everything, we end up getting a lot more money at the end, too. Which means that eventually our things like faith will start becoming cash. So eventually, we'll get to a point where cash no longer is an issue. Oh, we got something new from that. Ceremonial robes, or mental dress for important occasions. Interesting. So for using the confessional, I got a new thing unlocked. Secret outfit discovered. That's kind of a neat way. See, that's a positive change, right? You take something that is just kind of like considered maybe mediocre and potentially just upgrading it so it has more uses. Like, I, I have no complaints about that. That's the kind of game design I want to see, chat, where it's more inclusive of improving things that already exist. Both gang says, please, there are some folks are starving in no place to call home. Sure. We need sacrifices for future stuff. Why not? Got against sacrifice, night owl. Oh, they're so dead, chat. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about saving these characters. Those are terrible traits. Finally, win one last one. We have Alar here. As celibate, not very affectionate towards other followers. Decreased in generation, but increases productivity plus 50%. And repent. 
Wait, so they don't generate sin faster, but then they generate sin faster. Confused sinner. Oh, I could choose the robes. Oh, I can automatically assign them a necklace at the start. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like gifting them, though. I, I will say that's actually a good change. Glad that they did that. I want to choose a form that we haven't seen yet. I don't think we have the chicken. I'm going to call it Confused KFC. There we go. Starving cultists just pass out in the middle of the road. Should help a little bit. The other thing I could do is if a new day passes, I can feed them with the ritual. And save myself on food costs. But for now, I'll leave them as is. Is there anything else I could do while I'm here? Get it. Oh, so we're in max doctrine. I don't really want to do the one where the first time I die, sacrifice a follower. I'd just rather die, to be honest with you. Really, I don't really care about revive mechanics. I guess it's useful in the final boss, but when, for the rest of the game, I don't really want it. Nice level up. Thank you for me, Fian. We're we're done, so you're not you're not gonna miss much. The only thing I want to follow up on is Sozo. That's it. There's no more RNG. Okay, so we unlocked the damned versions of everything. It's fine. Miss for dissenting followers. Those are kind of terrible. Gonna get disease harder. For um. So far, I don't really like the damned unlocks. To be honest with you. Yeah, the damn relics look kind of terrible. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the only one that's better is the hair. I'd rather have diseased hearts over blessed, but every other one is just so much worse. Like, 50% chance of invincibility for 10 seconds is so much better than a single diseased heart. Do we disagree? Like, just, it's so much better. <laughs> just, like, wait a minute. I mean, damage to enemies is okay, but, like, I would rather have the invincibility every time between those choices but sadly we're gonna get a lot less of time stop which we know is the true most broken relic in the game and it is completely unfair how much better that is compared to everything else no contest all right can we revive chris we can okay we're reviving chris Although that means he's probably no longer a loyalty enforcer, which means when Chris died, not only did I lose a valued member of the team, but then I have to do another ritual just to give him back the ability that he should have had before he was very cruelly and unfairly killed. So annoying. Probably means he's no longer the sin leader. Yeah, because I think Chris is no longer marked as one. He died. Give it to Kirk. Wait, can I not? Wait, did, is Chris catatonic? Oh no. No. Why is it doing this? No. Come on. Oh, the lamb. This is bullshit. I, I have to go back to the other place again? Let me a break chat like this is an annoying amount of resource like i it i can only get it in one location it's not like something i can farm and then we got robbed by this jerk that's it i'm bullying you so now we got chris back and he's useless this is just i really don't like this update it was going so well and then stupid stuff like that is how you ruin it like honestly i don't know what they were thinking with this so I'm not even sure how we would get that in a somewhat reasonable fashion. Wow. 
I don't really want to do another run just to get another ability back. Like, that's the whole point of the revive. Like, you unfairly killed my character, and now you've now unfairly put another condition on them, just so that they're more unusable. So stupid. Let's go to the decoration, at least. How do I not have 16 bars yet? Or maybe they didn't put in the other... Yeah, maybe they just didn't put it in the basket yet. Unreal. Yeah, like, I don't already like the... Le like, honestly, I don't like the level cap. That, that's number one. But then number two, like, that's just such a bad idea. I just don't know what they were thinking at all. So we still have a lot of unlocks here to go, which is a downside, which means I don't get money as quickly the other ways. There we go. So at least most of our followers are decently leveled. But yeah. Super, super disappointed. At least our devotion gain is extremely good. I just give the feast ritual now. It doesn't cost that many bones. Yeah. So we'll beat the game, I think, on Thursday. I I, I don't feel in the mood to do it. We're gonna go build the Sozo statue, and that legit is the last thing I'll do. I'll write down that Chris is catatonic, because I probably won't remember, because it's a very terrible addition to the game. But I think from the standpoint of progress here, the last thing that I need to do... I'm gonna put the mushroom thing... over here. Yeah, I just don't remember. So we're gonna get a choice when we go to fight the final boss whether to give in or to not do it. I don't remember if giving in gives you anything. Like a new ending. Ooh, free gold bar. That's actually huge. Yeah, I just don't... Re if there's some place I can buy crystals, it's still really annoying. I would... I just don't remember. Maybe the smuggler guy had something? Let me just check here real quick. I wasn't intending to revisit him until after post game, but if he sells crystals, I don't remember if he does or not. No, I don't think he does. Uh, there's no point to give it. I mean, I could give it him this just because I have it, but I don't have the other witness. Yeah, I'm gonna skip his dialogue. I'm so down the mood chat. I'm <laughs> like, I'm just gonna take this. Um, probably, yeah, something, something, me mother, or something. Guarantee you that's the dialogue. So, I don't think there's a way to purchase it. We could buy seeds, we could get followers with money, but I don't think we can get resources like that easily. I think I needed to do with the things happen. I don't think so. Alright, let's move on. Final thing. Talk to Sozo. You did it. Now I know I can trust you. I like those nasty little liars outside. They're always watching. Always listening. Here, take this. You're Sozo's best friend. You're Sozo's only friend. Dude, we could get more fleece stuff if I want to. I don't really have anything I want to unlock at this point. Sozo can trust you. Sozo will pledge himself to you. You will protect me from those liars outside and bring Sozo mushrooms. Sozo's so happy. Sozo's never had so many mushrooms before. If it wasn't for you, Sozo would never be able to get so many at once. Sozo cannot wait to see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna have to check on Sozo later. The so Sozo's having kind of a little fit there. The so Sozo's kind of like in permanent red eye mode. So we've initiated something for later. Yeah, let's stop here for now, chat. Oh, 
chat's... Oh, well, I'll, I'll let Twitch chat decide their final thing. I was gonna say, not even Twitch chat donating to the totem contribution will make me happy. <laughs> I'm like, so annoyed. This is now like 30 extra resource and like 130 extra bone, which is the equivalency of at least two dungeon runs I have to do just to negate the patch. What a, what a bad choice. Well, I'll try to level Chris up for level 10 so he could be a qualifier for a disciple. Then we'll get in Parameter there and then Promethean there. Then maybe Dango. Next ritual will not cost any resources. Why did everybody suddenly become ill? Oh, because the ritual wore off. That makes sense. Um. I think I just want to get money from chat. That way, if I can use our money to purchase anything in the future, this is for me. See, we have the ability to turn anything into money. I just wish we could turn money into something more useful in this game. It's ironically not a very good currency. Okay, we're max on Doctrine. I don't need any of these. Really care about these other mechanics that much, sadly. We'll do a sermon to fix the faith loss and also maybe level people up a little more. We only got plus 97 there, brutal. So we do at least gain about 100 every time we come through here. I guess I'll assign somebody as the faith instructor because that ritual is not expensive. I guess I can have Steve do it, since he's kind of young, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Game said no to giving you back the hat. Alright, so that is the downside. If I do the brainwashing ritual, they get six still. Unfortunate. So dumb. I'm not I'm not getting over that chat. It's such a bad mechanic. At least we can level up that for a little bit. else I need to do over here. This character just needs to go to sleep. And I think the rest is fine. Yeah, I kind of wish there was like a like a late game thing called the black market where you could just purchase uh, other materials. Like it doesn't have to be a good trade. In fact, I prefer it not to be a good trade. But just so that you don't have to constantly go into a dungeon to get resources that are now randomly, arbitrarily mandatory to deal with things that were not an issue in the other versions of the game. That would be nice. Anyway, let me collect this and then we'll put our other characters to sleep, make sure that they sleep it off. Like, it's one thing if it's like to get rid of sickness. I don't mind that, like as I said before, but don't agree with that change at all. I'm gonna quit out. So let's chat about how we think things went. Well, we get a couple of flawless bosses. I have to go back and probably refight the other two. Uh, if I want to get the flawless boss achievement. I definitely had a shot at both of them. And unfortunately, we were just like one little thing shy of where I was with my damage or fervor. Uh, that stopped us from getting the kill. Like, we got hit like once, which is still really good with the clear. But I would like to do it for the achievements. Other than that, it was nice to see Godly Knife. Godly Knife is like the only knife <laughs> that I actually enjoy. Things like Bane or Necromancy or Vampiric on Knife just feel terrible, honestly. I just, I wouldn't, I don't really want to play with those. I guess it makes more sense in like longer journeys if you're not fighting a lot of mini bosses. 
you need the ability to heal. But we're in like the story mode section of the game, which pretty much just means that I really just need to be able to burst damage at almost any cost. I'm glad we played a little bit with the Golden Fleece, which they have nerfed uh, pretty much every release. Like, it scales slower, it has a bigger cap, things, things of that nature. So they're still trying to find a balance for it to make it a bit more fair in terms of usage. But otherwise, um, yeah, at, at least now I can say when we play, there's at least two different fleeces I would use. Like, the starting with four cards, it's very useful for story mode, where I, like, I don't have to go in the side rooms and still end up decently powered. Um, some of the other ones are just kind of too gimmicky for me. Like, the one where it increases curse damage, but it lowers your health and melee attack. I complained about that the first time we played. I complained about it the last time we played. I'm going to complain about it again. It's still a terrible fleece. I never want to play with it. <laughs> just It just doesn't sound fun. If it also guaranteed regenerating fervor, if it was like regenerate fervor, fervor does double damage, you take you take double damage or something, I would have been fine with it. We did get to see Regenerating Fervor actually be fairly good. So potentially in combination with non-aggressive demons like the Fervor Increaser. It's nice that there are like other build paths other than raw melee. It's just unfortunate how much stronger the melee stuff is between like the crit hits, the fleeces that support it, and how bad some of the base spells are, like Fire Shot and Icker Targeting Shot, for example, which is also just terrible. I, I kind of wish they removed Icker Shot from the game. I'm going to be real with you. I would not miss it. <laughs> there There is not a single time where in any playthrough I've been like, oh boy, I got Icker Shot. Now I can beat X. It's like, oh, I got literally something that will make me never use Fervor. <laughs> So I'm glad they introduced heavy attacks last patch, because otherwise Fervor would just not be used in those scenarios. Otherwise, I guess we'll figure out what we're going to do for the ending. So we, we set ourselves up for it. It should be fairly straightforward uh, next time we go to play that we beat it. We could have beaten it tonight, but as I said before, uh, I'm out of steam after getting really, 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 really upset at... Honestly, frankly, bullshit updates that I really hope that they reconsider and or remove entirely. Like, there there should be things that potentially curse us. That's fine. But I feel like that should be more of, like, a post-game thing, too. Like, again, there's so many different ways they can approach this. And we could, we could talk about this for hours, how they could have introduced this more organically into the game. But I feel it's just, like, a lot of massive missteps. And it forces you to have, like, really specific buildings with really specific resources that just puts a grind back into the game that, it, one, isn't fun, and two, isn't necessary, and three, we've already seen how the game works without it. So it's not even a hypothetical. Just roll it back. Just roll it back. But I think from that standpoint, chat, that's all I have to say for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.